Ótimo. So before beginning, I welcome everyone. Okay, I am Aditya, hmm? faculty for claims at Insights IS. Okay, so yeah. Before starting the session, I would like to know how many of you are you know giving it first attempt. You people, your first attempt. Others are have given already. Okay, so. You know, right? Okay. So, how how did you find the last year paper? C set. C set. Okay. So C set. So first let's understand C set. Then what else? What was the other issues that you have faced last year? No, it is just a you know you'll have this session more or like you know how to approach the prelims basically with the changing trends. How you are supposed to approach, right? So. It is not about I am not going to discuss you know what are the important themes and you know those stuff basically but rather than that it is about understanding how the things are changing and how you are supposed to plan your preparation. You know, things are changing from last 2-3 years if you look at the question paper. Last year it was the options that has been changed right. So the way of asking the question more of you know reason assertion question kind of question more of you know only one statement correct two statement correct kind of question right. So, other than that the way of asking the question is being changed if you look at the you know previous year and you know just you are analyzing the previous year question and just preparing based on that is not working okay for example let's say you know before let's say with respect to species what they were asking they were asking which among the following are endangered which of the following are naturally found in india they are just talking about you know their protection status or let's say their you know habitat status where they you can find it basically right so that was the kind of question that usually used to ask. Now they are shifting it from, you know, people are just, you know, listing the animals and you know, mugging up the facts related to it rather than having the interest towards those animals. You, they did not even many of them did not even have seen the pictures of those animals itself, right? So in that case, they want to check your interest towards the species in the first place, right? Now they are asking the interesting characteristics about it. So if you look at the, it is not just the last year. Even if you look at the 22 paper which will you know which of the following animals protect themselves by you know folding themselves then they are given the action as you know pangolin marmot those kind of stuff which will act as a biofilter then they had given octopus other stuff basically right so even elephant female will be the head so they are asking trying to understand you know whether you know about the elephants how they work basically or you know let's say you know uh, tigers what are their characteristic features so right so basically they are trying to you know which of the following are let's say before they were asking these kind of question now they are asking which are nocturnal right which are awake in the evening right so that kind of question being asked now those are the thing has been shifted in the way of the asking question also in all the subjects if you look at the you know previous years of international relations they were mostly either you know which place the places they were used to ask are you know the location based you know map based which of the you know following countries border this sea which of the following you know region has been found here so that kind of question that is being asked right along with that more of reports international organization the more of a static part so if you have a material you study it it's done right now what they are asking they are not just asking 
the places, but why they are in use? Let us say, you know, some will have military coops. They are just asking why they were in use, whether it is for a military coop, whether it is for a drought resistant or, you know, that kind of stuff basically. So, they are trying to understand whether you know the issue behind it, right? So, if you look at the last year question 23, 22, the kind of question they are being asked is basically they are shifting. That means they want you to read the newspaper rather than just, you know, knowing the places in news and mugging up the things, right? Before we are just doing this place, this region, open the map and see it, your job is done. Now, why it was in news, you are not aware of, right? So, now they are being shifted in international relation the way the kind of question is being asked. Before only the members of organization used to be asked. India is a member of which of the following organization. So, it was pretty much straightforward in kind of, you know, preparation as such. If you understood the themes which are repeating, then it is more or less, you know, basically what you are doing, you are just licking the themes that, you know, the international organization is important. What are supposed to see? Whether India is a member list of it or whether, you know, its resolutions are binding or not. Only three, four facts we used to see and then we work upon it on the based on famous organization, then our job is done. Now, the things are changing in that way, right? And polity, if you look at from last three, four years, they are going to conceptual. Now, Lakshmi Kant is not, you know, enough. It is necessary, but it is not sufficient, right? Now, they are asking more question on, you know, what is liberty and law mean? You know, if you want to protect the liberty, what should be there? Whether it is a committed judiciary, independent judiciary, that kind of question. What is the relation of, you know, Federalism, essential character of federalism. Whether you just know that federalism means basically, what is federalism? It is just sharing the power between two different constituents, right? So, when you are sharing the power, let us say I and you share an agreement between us, you know, this is your power, this is my power. Who do, how do, you know, how does that you ensure that it is happening in the government place? Then there has to be someone mediator who is looking into it. If I, you know, cross the limit, then he says, do this is, you are crossing your limits. How this can happen? This can happen with the independent judiciary who are not related to center also, who are not related to state also. But the committed judiciary was, you know, many of the people chosen committed judiciary because, you know, everyone first basically say that you should be committed for this examination. So, we thought that committed means basically a positive term. Committed means committed judiciary is committed to government. Whatever they follow, they just, you know, implement it or they help the government in that way. So, it was committed due to a negative connotation in that sense. So, it was the independent judiciary. So, these kind of, you know, the kind of questions are changing from the last three, four years. So, your preparation should also change, okay. But not just, you know, sticking yourself to Lakshmikant. Apart from Lakshmikant, you have to study political theories. Also, you are supposed to study constitution at work to understand the basics of it, right. So, what are the terms meaning? Many a times you will, you know, not understand the terms meaning itself. You are just, you know, reading it, what is state, what is nation, what is nation state. You know, this was a kind of definition kind of question has been asked. You know, what is the meaning of, you know, the virtue of democracy lies in? What is the role of bureaucracy? You know, the regular that you are using, but, you know, the kind of question they are giving or the kind of options they are giving, right? That will make you understand only when your basics are strong. Why, why polity has to be there? Why democracy is needed? Why parliamentary form of government is needed? What is the essential features of parliamentary form of government? If you look at the question, last three, four years, they are flooded with these kind of questions. Right? Out of 15 questions, let's say polity is coming, at least three to four questions are from very basics and, you know, very conceptual kind of clarity. You know, if you are not having the clarity, you will get missed it, basically. Right? Same with the history. Right? If, if you look at the history question, now the more number of questions are coming from regional kingdoms. Before, if let's say if it is medieval India, we say that it is Delhi Sultanate, Mughals, then at the max Vijayanagar Empire, right? We was not, we were not used to study other, you know, minor kingdoms or regional kingdoms that were there, and they have contributed in their own way, right? Like, let's say if you look at the 2000, you know, 22 question, right? Nakula, he belongs to which community? Boja, he belongs to which, you know, kingdom? Nagabatta, to he belongs to which? Jayasimha, who belongs to which? So, here basically they are checking about the recently also, which among the following dynasties, you know, established in the time of early 7th century. Then they gave Hoysalas. Huh? So, basically now they are trying to check your knowledge with the regional kingdom also. Don't just study, you know, Delhi Sultanate and Mughal and my medieval India is done. That is not the way now it is working, right? And some part of southern history, if you look at, you know, every year two to three questions from, you know, Sangam Age, Arshatavahana, this time Danya Kataka was been asked basically, 
right and which among the following with respect to sangam literature is not correct that was one of the question basically and the question has been shifted more from the literature perspective also right so if you look at you know uh, 2022 question yoga vasishta was translated into you know this one during the time of which you know uh, you know king basically or you know nitta pikarana or parishishta parvan or let's say you know avadana sutakas so all these books whether they were basically buddhist text jain text or they were asking about the you know you know what do you say the scholars right the scholars they were asking they are asking whether he is a buddhist scholar he is jain scholar or he is a you know hindu kind of scholar you know that kind of question has been asked right natumuni was asked arya deva was asked dignana was asked right so the things are changing in more from the perspective of this way right so that you have to understand before you are preparing right now look at the last year paper when we see the last year paper i just open the last year paper okay first let's see few of the question how it is working so anyways they have now giving all the political question together all the you know ancient india medieval india questions together so it becomes very easy to analyze also right rather than picking so we'll just okay now if you look at the question number 1 right jhelum river passes through ular lake krishna river directly feeds kolleru lake right then mandaring gandak river formed kanwar lake okay now the river theme was always there there was always a question on rivers okay now however the rivers theme has been you know in the sense they were asking in the different perspective sometimes they asked about species related to it let's say blue flint mashir found in kaveri gharials found in let's say chambal or iravadi dolphin were found in chambal this was the question rusty cat was you know somewhere it is found in eastern ghats this kind of question they were asking or let's say this river flows in national park which river flows in which national park that is the kind of question they were asking or let's say the dams related to it last time if you have seen in 2022 there was gandhi sagar indira sagar maithon these dams has been asked and gata prabha these four dams has been asked and you know which state they are located in basically or sometimes they that pilgrimage center on the banks of the river like hampi whether it is on tungabhadra or krishna or let's say ajanta caves are located on which river so that kind of question on pilgrimage center now now the river is the common topic but the dimensions are varied right so the same here right the lake as well as lake also they were asking wetlands this kind of harike lake they had asked poleru lake they had asked pulikat lake they have asked loktak lake they have asked so the question were lake were there now they are combined here two information right but if you look at the question you know the krishna river and poleru lake was already asked before also if you look at 2013 paper there was a match the following basically are you know how many pairs are correct kind of question where the question was like poleru lake you know lies between godavari and krishna right this is why our godavari and i mean krishna and musi are godavari are musi feeds into basically poleru lake this was the statement they had given basically so the topics are repeating it is not that they are asking you know something you know smaller rivers that you are not knowing but the question is whether they are asking only one statement is correct two statement is correct three statement is correct four statement is correct or all the four statement or none of them is correct so how basically has to prepare for this this kind of questions okay that is the challenging part same again you know only major port has been asked the basic information about major port apart from mundra port which is not a major port privately owned by you know that it is was in news for many a times last year also you know you know many of the drugs has been seized from that port and so, so it was in news already right so it was owned by adani and groups basically and you know it was so this was also a kind of known question again mahua teak which among the following are deciduous trees jack fruit again this mahua sal teak all these are available in your ncert directly now not jack fruit is not available but other two are available but what is happening basically there are let's say seven eight trees main trees they would have given about tropical deciduous while reading in one go you cannot remember four numbers you will have just sal and teak right then mahua you might forget in the examination right now why this is happening because we are reading the ncert one or two times now with the changing option whether only one is correct two is correct three is correct all is correct none is correct for this basically you should have the clarity over the facts complete to have the clarity over the fact it is the you know more number of revision 
that will make you have a better grip. So, if you are planning for this 2024, then your approach should be finishing your syllabus early and revising as many times as possible. Right. Many of the questions were directly from NCRT. If you look at history and history question, they are going little bit ahead of you know only themes and our past is not sufficient. Right. So they are going one step ahead. So it is better that you also cover old NCRTs. Okay. And now what we do basically is old NCRT is important from the this perspective, Satish Chandra and R S Sharma, that along with your new NCRT that would be sufficient. You, uh, even after that, let us say some question is being asked and you do not know it basically, right? After even you have not encountered in text series also, still you are not good. It may be available in Upinder Singh or Romila Tappar everywhere, right? Because those are the reference book, but you cannot study that basically because that becomes cost to investment or whatever the time you are investing and whatever the returns you are getting that will be too low when you are doing that basically. Huh, that is what I will come to that basically, okay? So, uh, no, these are the things basically that. Now many students what they do is they have the sources which they feel comfortable rather than understanding the essence what we do is let us say spectrum is a comfortable source that is you know all the information is available right. So we are picking the spectrum and we are reading the spectrum right and let us say Tamil Nadu NC you know history textbook are comfortable the way they have organized the content looks very you know you know enriching to read then we feel that okay this is a book that we are supposed to read everyone may say that okay this book has been covered for southern history you can cover it from that book, but not from all the history perspective. Now, what you are supposed to think, who is setting the paper? Who is setting the paper? The examiner, let us say a history professor who may be in let us say Delhi University, Jain University, but the larger university professors will be setting the paper. They do not even know that there is a Tamil Nadu textbook students are referring. Right. Their reference book are Upinder Singh and Romila Tapar. That is why most of the question people say that it was there in Upinder Singh. Because as of them basically they will not study your our past or you know even if they want to ask the basic question then they might ask from the NCRTs to just to have the whether this person have a basic knowledge over the topic or not. But they are not going to you know check your spectrum and set the question. Spectrum, he has given all the content one sided. Let us say if there is a tribal revolt, peasant revolt, he has given 30 peasant revolt. You know. So, if you look at the question, how many questions from tribal and peasant revolt have come till now? Last, if you look at the last 10, 12 years paper, how many questions have come basically? Let us say around 5, 6 questions. And even, even if you look at the question, one is about Santal rebellion, one is about Munda rebellion, right? One is about, you know, peasant revolt, indigo revolt they are asking, Tebaga movement they are asking. So, most important peasant revolt they are asking, not the minute one, but when you pick spectrum every year their job is to add more information and big you know make the big bigger right same happens with Lakshmikant right it is becoming bigger book day by day it is becoming an India year book over a period of time right so it becomes very tough right so and you are just reading those book rather than understanding what is the requirement okay so one job you are supposed to do is understand the exam in the first place what exactly this exam requires from you right now with respect to me now it is basically I have cleared you know all the attempts that I have given with respect to prints is more than I have voice cut off okay. Whether it was CSAT, whether it was optional, whether it was CSAT was counting, non-counting. What I am saying is if I am doing that even after giving interview I used to have 20 days, 25 days for the examination then you know within that 25 days you revise the things and clearing. It means it does not mean that I am you know reading from 6 months. But what happens is you are trying to after one or two attempt you will come to know what is the exact demand of this examination? Once you understand the demand, your preparation becomes more intense as well as more specific. You will not just pick the spectrum and start reading everything. Okay? That is not a good idea in the first place. Okay? Same with the Lakshmikant. Lakshmikant, what happens? Let us say there are you know non-constitutional bodies, NHRC, CVC, you know, CIC, all these books basically these are the non-constitutional body, right? He would have covered around 10, 12 non-constitutional body, but there are n number of non-constitutional body. There are can be 50 non-constitutional bodies which are important in our regular. SEBI is a non-constitutional body, right? Then you know IRDA is a non-constitutional body. There are n number of non-constitutional body. Now in book what they have given? Who are the members? What are his eligibility criteria? How he will be appointed? Then there will be a prime minister in one of the committee. There will be a leader of opposition along with a senior cabinet minister along you know in some committee there will be a home minister. 
So basically you are flooding with lot of information, you are you know collecting it, this committee comes here, in this leader of opposition will not be there, here home minister will not be there, you are you know trying to mug up the information which from the prelims perspective is absolutely unnecessary because these non-constitutional body have no limits. Then you have to read, read all the bodies, all the members, all their eligibility criteria. With respect to non-constitutional body, what is important to you is basically the functions and powers of it. What they are doing, what are the powers they have. If you look at the question, if there is CPCB and NGT, they are asking about the power or their objective functions, not about how member of CPCB will be appointed. That is not your concern because that is more of a procedural stuff that happens with everybody. But if it is a constitutional body, then you should know your members also, what is their qualification also, how they are removed also, that has to be studied. So even while picking the Lakshmi Kant, you should know what is important from this chapter rather than reading the things. Because most of the time what happens, Lakshmi Kant has tried to make students life easier by making the polity simple. Let us say he has given effective majority special majority, right. So in the constitution nowhere we say that this is a simple majority, this is a special majority, right. We just say that you know two third of who are voting should be two third present and voting and half of the total membership of the house. This is the word that is used in the bare constitution, not about special majority, effective, absolute majority, there is nothing called those terms, right. It is only they are told the three fourth member or two third member of the total membership has to vote for basically removal of the president. That is what it has given. It has nothing called it is absolute. This majority is called absolute majority. But while what we do while Lakshmi Kant, we try to remember the terms effective majority, special majority, absolute majority, what is the difference between them? What is pocket veto? You know? So the qualified veto, these are basically not defined anywhere. You know, this is where somewhere, let us say in US parliament, let us say if there is a pocket veto, the word has been given so that you can understand the term better. What is pocket veto? Let us say once I get a bill, I keep it in my pocket. I do any, I do not do anything about it basically, right. So that is called pocket veto. So it, it, it becomes easy as a connotation, it becomes easy for you to remember it, right. But there is nothing called pocket veto, the term has been mentioned in your this thing. So you do not need to go to that nitty gritties with respect to your film preparation. Most of the students what they do is they spend lot of time in understanding these terms itself. They are confused, you know. Indian president do not have the suspensive veto, but he has a qualified veto, he have a pocket veto. So now what happens, you are getting confused, right, whether what is qualified, what is in. So that is not your concern again. So you have to understand the previous year question paper in the perspective, how the question are being asked, what is important from the prelims perspective, how you are reading for the prelims, okay. Now looking at the questions here. Yeah, yeah, I will cover what is what has to be covered for every subject, but I am just saying this when I am encountering it, I am just talking about all these things, but then I will come to this, right. Now see, these are the factual question which you are you know, if you know it, you can do it, if you do not know, you cannot do it. So do not try to attend these kind of question if you are completely not aware of the facts, because in the prelims what matters is, it is not about the difficult question that will decide whether you qualify or not whether the easy question, whether you are able to clear it or not, decide by whether you are making mistakes in easy question or not. If you are missing out the easy question, then your prelims irrespective of some difficult question you may attend and get it correct, you will not able to qualify. Because the easy question is like, you know, it is at the end of the day, let us say there are 30, 35 question which are comfortably easy and 30, 35 question will give you 70 marks, let us say. If you are losing, let us say 5, 6 questions there. Then what will happen, let us say out of 30, if you are losing 5 questions or 6 questions, your net question, right question will be 24. So that means that with respect to 24 questions are right and 6 questions are wrong, this 6 question will take away your 2 right question because every 3 wrong questions will take away one of your right question, right, because it is one third negative, right. So what will happen, your net will become 22, that means that your score is now 44. Now getting you know 85, 90 needs another 45, 50 marks. That means the 25, 30 from the a little difficult kind of question you are supposed to get it. 
that becomes difficult. Let's say if you are making that 30, all of them, most of them correct, one or two other than one or two, then you are already at 60. All you need is another 25, that is 13, 14 questions. Right? So, your idea should be not to make mistakes in the basics question. Whoever, if you see whoever clearing regularly, their basics are very strong. They are not missing the polity question. They are not missing the, you know, kind of, you know, uh, conceptual question in geography or conceptual question in economy. They are not missing it out. Right? What is they are missing is maybe the most difficult question they are guessing it may go wrong. Right? So, in that way, it is very important to cover the basics in a very proper way. Right? Okay. So, this kind of question you can leave, but let us say this is again this kind of question. There are two things. Once you are very, you know, if let us say if I, I am in your place, I am attending this paper, which one of the following is the best example of repeated falls in sea level giving rise to present day extensive marshland? Okay. Now, my job is this. Okay. Now, I do not know, let us say I do not know in the examination hall. But at least what I know with my basic clarity is what is marsh, what is swamps. What is marsh and what is swamp? What is the difference between marsh and swamp? Now, these are the basic geography questions, right? If you are coming with the term swamps, marsh, then we should know the term meaning. Okay? In geography, what matters is understanding overall. Let us say if I take Malwa Plateau. First, you should know what is Malwa Plateau, what it is made up of, what is its relief feature is like. Then only you can connect this idea to the crops you can grow there, right? The river system that can come there. Then, then only you can say that, you know, this is a river rain, you know, Chambal is a, you know, river rain because it is in the Malwa land where there is, you know, the kind of, you know, that kind of understanding when you know what is Himalaya is made of, then only you can connect it basically. Let us say if they have given Burza home, you know, is known for rock cut strains. Okay, if it was 2022 question, if you remember our 21 question, they had given three places of prehistoric sites as well as the you know, present site. Then they have given one was Burza home, another was Chandra Ketugar, another was which was one other Ganeshwar, right? Then they have given one is for terracotta art, another is for copper artifact, another is for basically rock cut shrines. They had missed, you know, three different, you know, places or, you know, locations of the different kingdoms and then they have asked about it. Now, what is Burza home? Where does you find it? Where is Burza home? Jammu Kashmir. Yes. Why it is known for? What it is known for? It is a Neolithic site in the first place. Okay. Now, why, why what it is known for? What is the speciality? You should know if there is something very unique feature of it, then you should know it. Yes. Pit dwellings. Pit dwelling means when you are in a cold region, it is so cold outside, so you dig a house from the ice and you stay there because ice is a bad conductor of heat and so you will feel warm there, right? So that is basically, Burza home is basically located in Kashmir and it is a Neolithic site and it is known for the pit dwelling. This is the information you will get in the NCRT. Now when it is there in the ice buff basically, let us say, if I am telling the rock cut shrine, will they match together in the first place? Right. It is not that I have not studied rock cut science wherever it is there. I just know that it is a in the Himalayan region or Kashmir region where the rock cut means you should have that you know overall structure of rock. So, I can just eliminate that option. This is nothing to do with the rock cut science. Right. So, what I am saying is once you understand the geographical features of the place, then you can start connecting the things. If some rivers are there in the northwestern region, if you know the geography of it, what is Bundelkhand is made up of? What is Bagelkand is made up of? Now you are just writing, you know, Bundelkand comes here, Bagelkand comes here. What are they basically? What is Deccan plate use made of? Then only you can connect it to the minerals associated with it, agricultural practice associated with it, soils associated with it, right? If you are just studying where it is only map, you are opening and checking it without understanding what is Bagelkand, what is Bagel, then you are not able to connect it. Let's say if I saw that Western Ghats is this, then I can connect it to soil can be laterite, right? right? You know, if it is a Deccan plateau, then I can say that, okay, soil can be a black soil, right? So, I can connect it by knowing the geographical feature of it or what is Malwa plateau, what is Bagelkhand, what is Bundelkhand. You should know not just where it is located, what they are, okay? Like that, you should start building your basics well so that you can connect. What, you know, someone says that, you know, if they are really good at the basics, then what they will do? They will apply that basic and get many of the questions done, right? It is not that they are guessing the things. 
they are applying their basic you know or conceptual clarity for example what is marsh and what is swamp marsh is a region where there is a you know, smaller you know kind of you know marshy area what we say basically the, you know swamp is basically a smaller trees you can find for example mangrove is a swamp vaitarkanika swamp you know so the smaller tree will grow there now the question is about marshland right now let's say I'm, they are asking about marshland where the trees cannot be grown right now if i look at this vaitarkanika mangroves cannot be our option or you know this is a salt pan they are asking that is you know salt part that is not marsh again again you know now part of swamp the world itself is swamp basically now you know that this cannot be our answer then run off touch is the option that is been left out right it is not that you are knowing about which is marsh and which is rising and otherwise also you should know this fact you know if you are very serious you should know this tidal because you know if you remember chandipur was asked 2 3 years back where you know the river will take off and again it will that will come back basically kind of you know so that has been asked where you can go 1 kilometer and come back during that fall and rise of the this thing that has been asked before in 2019 but other than that also if you don't know also even if you know the terms you can still understand what is marshland what is swamp you can get the answer so what i am saying is you sure basic should be strong whenever you are reading lagoon what is lagoon you should be very clear about it right peatland what is peatland then you should know about it basically right so only once you do that basically your conceptual clarity becomes stronger and then you will start applying the things applying the things is knowing the basics well okay 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 let's say ilmenite and rutile okay this is this is there in ncert okay uh, energy resources or mineral resources in 7th or 8th ncert that i will show you the picture where it is there basically you know the bright and newer tooth bolke they have given and they have given what it is but let's say you would not have studied it and you would not have remembered it okay i always look at from the two perspective one knowledge perspective if you are revising many a times ncert you would have got it easily okay however let's say sometimes what happens you would not have revised it right so at that point of time let's say you know i'll just show this see whether it is there or not see, this is the one right so if you look at here a bright smile from toothpaste and minerals okay this is taken from ncert you can see here toothpaste cleans your teeth abrasive minerals like silica limestone aluminum oxide and various phosphate mineral do the cleaning fluoride which is used to reduce the cavity come from a mineral fluoride most toothpaste are made white with titanium oxides which comes from mineral called rutile ilmenite and anatis okay this is there in your ncert okay however sometimes what happens with the lack of revision one or two revision you cannot remember these facts okay so but let's say now look at the question okay now i don't know let's say there are two things one i am saying that you know you should know it because with the changing pattern you know only one option is correct two option is correct now what it matters is your knowledge on all the three topics they are not changing the trends they are asking about precedent election only they are asking about powers of the president only they are asking about schedule areas only these are the question that has been already asked ready schedule fixed area what it happens if it is big. but the question is before let's say there were six powers of president let's say if i know four or five if i remember properly or one or two let's say if i am forgetting in the examination day still i am able to do it with that four and five because of elimination you know i know one option is correct i used to take it off then you know i used to get it now what is happening they are expecting you to know all the six properly how this can happen this can happen with the n number of revisions that's it simple idea revise many a times your job is done you will not waste the questions are not changing right now let's say the same question okay how do you do it if you look at this eliminate rutile abundantly available in certain coastal tracts okay before also coastal tract beach minerals was been asked the monazite and thorium has been asked but let's keep that aside now if i know that it is available in the coastal tract that is the information you have now let's look at the question where you will get the aluminum where you will get the copper where you get the iron where you get the titanium now you know the mineral resources where they are basically available where you know iron will be available where you know copper will be available let's say rajasthan you know you will know that copper will be available there let's say iron you know that you know it is available in the gondwana land most of the iron has been made in the gondwana land so are you know 
that kind of stuff right coal is available anyways in the gondwala 98% that is also you will be knowing now only the option that is remaining with you with your basic knowledge about these three facts without knowing the titanium i can pick say that it can be a titanium more probably because the coastal tracks thorium in the monazite sand also it will be available thorium is also available in monium sand as well as titanium okay so what i am saying is and also why it was in news because the beach minerals also has to be included in the mine and you know mineral development act that has been being changed last year so beach minerals were in news basically right so even in that perspective but keeping that aside right how you are supposed to think this is one way of thinking it basically right then this one world's cobalt metal required for manufacture of battery for electrical motor vehicle is produced by okay again a factual question again a important team electrical vehicle is a important team right so this you have to start covering lithium ion batteries you should know zinc air batteries you should know what is the difference between you know these kind of what is the advantage they possess with right then you know different available mineral resources with respect to that you are supposed to know then various initiative let's say fame initiative that india have or let's say national you know electric mobility mission plan that we have or you know ev3830 mission that is from the clean energy ministerial right so these things are iea international energy agency what are their initiative with respect to the clean energy right then you know let's say decarbonization transport alliance this kind of you have to start you know taking one topic which is more important then you should start you know making it the what do you say the network building what we say you know you take a topic then try to understand all the aspect of it if they are really important from the examination perspective okay that we will understand what are the important topic how they are working basically right okay again which is part of congo basin okay this is a map based question that you are supposed to know now again these things if you look at amarakantak hill it has been already asked right then biligiri rangana hills you know sheshachalam hills sheshachalam hills also has been asked before you know where you know tirupati tirumala temple is there basically right it has been located in sheshachalam biosphere reserve also that has been during the biosphere reserve that has been asked actually okay so what i am saying is if you look at the question the topics are not something unknown to you okay you have never heard the topic that is not the case you have heard the topic only thing is more revision that needs to be needed for attending these kind of questions okay now if you look at this this is the case right then sometimes what happens this again uranium always in the news they are asking you know nuclear enrichment or you know what is about various organization ctbt all this question has been already previously asked so uranium thorium why india has thing you know though they have the uranium but they do not have the energy resources to produce the electricity still thermal that has been asked two years back right so the enrichment of uranium with respect to iran was always important so something is in news try to understand what is enrichment of uranium how much it has to be enriched to make a, make it a missile grade you know weapons right or how much it is you know should be enriched to get it a energy resources nuclear power right so even if it is 20% that would be sufficient to get the energy resources but if it is 60 70% then you are saying that it is basically machine so if you look at the question these kind of question which i find basically are more easier assertion and reasoning for two reasons one let's say i know the second statement is wrong okay your job is done okay your job is done because the question is both 1 and 2 are correct here also both 1 and 2 are correct here also statement 1 is correct and 2 is incorrect second may again 1 is incorrect 2 is correct let's say if i know that 2 is incorrect that means that only 2 is incorrect can be found here nowhere else right without even knowing the first statement i can get it right many of the statement if you look at just the first statement or second statement one let's say one statement one is wrong that means that option should be this d without knowing the second statement right because the option is one before what was happening one only two only both one and two neither one or two here even though if i know second is wrong but still i am worried about whether first is right or wrong but here the option has been even let's say if second is incorrect then the only option that you will be left with this this okay this is something you know which is looks more difficult assertion and reasoning but if you have got it correct then it becomes very easy to eliminate also right so elimination in a different way is actually helping here in that way right so this is a kind of 
question that is being right again this kind of species naturally found are you know they will thrive only in mountain grassland with known predators right again many of the people never know what is this species about if they know that it is a kangaroo kind of species then it is easy right so otherwise you cannot help it this kind of question if you are not aware of it then at least you can you know take a risk that you are not attending it basically okay okay again if you look at connecting projects i'm just you know going through the paper first before understanding what is the trend okay again invasive species always important you know which will be nocturnal or most active after sunset now they are asking the behavioral features of the species before they were asking about habitat now your job is to start inculcating that interest don't you know again make the list and you know remember try to you know you know whenever you are free basically look at you know let's say tomorrow they can ask which among the following shed their skin you know or which of the following animals will change the color to protect itself from the predator you know very simple thing that we know in our life chameleon is something you know which will change the which is which can you know can be asked in that way which will shed their leaf you know skin why they are shedding their skin right so that also the basic things you know that you know snakes will shed their skin but you don't know why it is shedding their skin so that can be asked basically so whatever that is happening around you have the interest towards it and you know start developing a interest don't again make a list of it and start mugging it up that will not work again right then you know next year people will come with all the nocturnal animals in the you know market you will get all the material now right they will come all the nocturnal who is active in morning who is active at night huh? so you will start getting again you will what you will do rather than again inculcating the interest again you are mugging up the same thing okay that should not be your idea of looking at this question because once you start looking at this and the question is the species that around you they will not ask you the minute fish species which you never heard of they are asking you the species which is basically in the news one or other way right so you know because many of the kangaroo is being you know taken in india basically they are being you know taken from that country to india they were placing into india that was in news and then they were told that this is not a visible idea because viable idea because this they cannot survive here okay that is what something that you know when cheetah was happening the same thing marsupial was also happening basically then it was in news but keeping that aside you know and other way of is basically try to look if you are not understood at least try to look it as from your hindi translation sometimes that can help you because they might have the local names right so you would be knowing that local names right if you look at here which one is that municipal right if you look at the hindi translation right what is this shishudani stani okay that is baby it is basically keeping it which is a mammal keeping the baby outside right so sometimes what happen even you know looking at the hindi may give you an idea i'm not saying that always it may give you sometimes the local names you will be very much aware of but not the the name that is being technical name that is being called right so the local name sometimes will help you right so in that way try to look at hindi if you don't understand also that is another way of looking at the things okay again the gucci question was asked in 2022 again a mushroom question has been asked now before if there is some mushrooms have some mushrooms have some mushrooms have some mushrooms have what you would do all of them are correct right the same thing now they are given only one only two only three all of them right so that has not changed that kind of logical thinking has not changed but what has changed is basically again this one now which of the following are one waggle dance for others of their kin to indicate the direction and distance and the source of their foot okay now if you look at it then it should be a group species basically which lives in a colony or which lives in a group otherwise they cannot take you know you know butterfly you have seen butterfly they come they take it you know they individually come to this thing and you know take the nectar out and they go off they will never come up with the group as such basically right same goes with the dragon flies you know so honey bees is something which you can again link up on so what i am saying is at least try to think from the perspective of basic knowledge whatever the details they have given 
try to cover from that knowledge okay but the question is now they are asking the behavioral features that is what i am trying to convey here before they were asking what is naturally found what is the habitat now they have started asking what is the interesting characteristic that they are showing okay tomorrow they can ask you about dog and cats also the interesting character about the pets that you know what they are showing you know so you never know those things basically right let's say you know dogs will make its boundary saying that this is my area this is my area by you know urinating the things and you know covering its area right this is one of the feature of the dogs right so that can be one best right which will be the animal which will have the you know boundary aggregated with respect so it is naturally happening in your place but you would not have observed it so what i am saying is try to observe the things which is happening around you in your free time don't spend too much of time because the question has come now in next year i will show all the features of the species mugging up it but start cultivating the interest in your free time that will give you a relaxation also along with that your knowledge will also start growing about the species so it helps you in many times eliminating also by knowing more in detail about that species knowing about you know cats knowing about you know cat family let's say cheetah knowing about you know because now cheetah is in news they can ask the behavioral aspect of cheetah rather than iucn status right so we have taken you know asiatic cheetah so we have don't have african cheetahs we have taken it from now they may ask you the question based on some behavioral features of cheetah right so you should start connecting the dot okay this was in news for some reason i will see what is interesting about it apart from iucn status habitat everything i also see some any unique feature it has right okay again some microorganism some microorganism some microorganism so wherever there is no specificity then there can always be exception which will thrive in the hot temperature which will be there in the cold temperature right so it becomes easy to look at that perspective right again which one of the following makes a tool with a stick okay to scrap insect from a hole in a tree or a log of wood so what it is saying so it should need a hand it should take a hand and start scraping it that means that it should have the wrist to work as such which is more like a humanistic characteristic are primates apes right so if they have given gorilla or that kind of species then it becomes interesting now if you look at this here you know otter sloth bear they do not have their wrist movement if you want to take something scrap out of it basically even if you are looking at the question in that way you are started covering the things basically like hollow gibbons was asked before right chimpanzee can be asked tomorrow with their behavioral aspect dolphin known for their behavioral aspect memory power and those stuff basically so start covering them which is happening around you and you know try to have the very basic idea about them see some pictures about it see some videos about it you know not don't but don't over spend the time as the part of your preparation do it in your free time when you are feeling that okay this will give you some kind of relaxation right so that way you can do it okay now if you look at the questions okay now i'll end up uh, 2022 paper i'll not you know take too many questions here okay carbon markets these kind of questions okay here these kind of questions are very easy right carbon markets are likely to be one of the most widespread tool there is not even saying that in a definite it may may be become one of the widespread tool to fight against the climate change so it is a very generic statement you don't need to worry about you know whether it will not become you know fight tool against to fight against the this thing so it is likely to be you on the wording when you look at it basically you will understand that these are the you know direct statement you don't need to worry much about it right omo has always been asked open market you know this has been always at 2013 which among the following will become you know omos that has been asked open market operation that has been asked previously also right now msp has been always asked right Oh, who will provide mt which crops will come under msp who will decide msps right the msp as a team was always there now within that msp one of the crop has been asked here basically this is i feel this is a kind of tough question right so because we cannot you know if you have studied it have the basic knowledge it is fine otherwise it becomes a little bit tough to know whether it is a kharif crop or rabi crop in that way right niger you know is not something which we are very much aware of basically though it was in news but as i say that you know sometimes everything will be in news in that way right if you open a topic and write it in google one or other way it will be in news just because it is in news it doesn't mean that you are covering everything right our job is basically try to cover the things which are which are mostly in news 
are important in news right so in that way you are supposed to cover but if you look at the question paper basically there are two types of question one are purely factual where you will get purely factual question history will be purely factual there will be no assertion reasoning question in history in maximum question one or two you may get it but otherwise history is mostly factual so if you are someone you know who are want to prepare history then start mugging up the fact early itself if you cannot remember it for long time make too many revisions and start covering up the things okay but otherwise history is however economy polity as well as geography since they are conceptual reason reason and assertion question is coming so that means that you should have the conceptual clarity among these topics okay this subject which is geography economy as well as polity okay these they are asking the conceptual questions right again these were already asked which is capital market instruments right all you should know is money market is less than one year capital market is more than one year right so if you look at the treasury bill call money they are doing for daily adjustments that is less than one year t bills maximum t365 days will be there t64 days will be there 182 days will be there t191 days are there they basically they are less than a year instrument that means that they are a part of money market not capital market so that much information will be sufficient to answer government bond market what is bond bond is like a loan right you get the interest over it because if you look at the previous year questions now this sector is getting more attention in economy what is getting more attention in economy banking sector anyways it is always it was and it is it will be you know in news so it is being asked along with that the more focus is going with respect to government initiative for example public finance what government is doing external sector what is fdi what parts you know which of the following will forms the part of fdi which of the following you know foreign convertible convertible bonds right then gdr global depository receipts right these are you know non resident external deposit which among the following are part of fdi these kind of questions are coming there so that means that the public finance as well as you know india is now more focusing on trade more aggressive as a economy so you know which we whether we have the export how much import how much whether we have a trade deficit whether we have a export you know in terms of merchandise deficit or service deficit what is about our overall current account deficit all these things are being asked now right if you look at last 3 4 years paper it is all about government's public finance features that is being asked more the traditional kind of what is inflation what is the reason for inflation you know those kind of questions are reducing but the external sector public finance as well as the capital market because we need more investment that means that the capital market if you look at capital market from last 10 years only the questions are in the last 3 years before that there were no single question from capital market only when there was one term has been asked other than that this term is related to something you know that is about uh, this one bull and bear what is this bull market is related to something like that one question has been asked other than that there was no question now if you look at it there is a government bond question last year also bond yields which of the following will reach to you know decrease in the bond yields that has been asked basically this year beta also has been asked with respect to stock market what is beta beta this year they have asked the question na huh what is beta no hmm, not that uh, that is beta right uh, beta b t b t a beta i mean it is not a full form beta in a stock market the term beta is related to what that was the question basically if you look at the 2022 paper 23 paper the term beta was asked why what is it bolke what is beta so what i am asking is even this question has been appeared so you should know the basics of it now right what is beta huh this year they asked na okay so i will come to that basically what is beta is basically any company there is it is a measurement tool it will check if there is a stock market crash or if let's say if there is a stock market is going down how your company stocks will do that means that if it is more than one that means that your company is volatile that means that stock is going 10% your company's stocks will you know if the stock market goes 10% down then your company stock will go 20% down more than the stock market that means that your company is very volatile it you know depends on market if market is growing then only you are growing the startup companies usually when the market is very good 
then you know automatically their revenue will double triple when market crashes they come to bottom but if the, let's say tata infosys though market goes their share value may go down but not at the level of stock market they may reduce 2% 3% like that if the market is going 5% their you know stock price will go only 2% down because that is why people invest in those company in the long term run basically who want to invest for a long term they always try to do that blue chip companies what we say right so this is basically beta we are uh, this is a beta which shows which company before you want to invest somewhere you will see the beta of the company if the beta is less than 1 then it is okay it is you know better than the stock market if stock market is going down but if stock market is going 20% your stock will not go 20% it may go 5% 10% you will have a profit not as long as you know but in the those startup companies your profit will be more than you know this thing what is that stock market so that is outperform the stock market but if it goes down, it will again go to a bottom. So that is a very volatile stocks basically that we are talking about. That has been asked. So what I am saying is stock market kind of question or you know capital market is being asked from last 2-3 years. Okay. Now that is because the government is more interested in the bond market because they always want the money for the infrastructure projects. So government is you know financing FDI, FII, these kind of questions are increasing. So the external sector public finance along with banking sector banking sector was always important it is important now also right capital diffusion in the banking sector capital adequacy ratio okay those things has been asked now but let's say statutory liquidity ratio was asked before now what is happening under which act slr has given a statutory or you know they are going one step ahead you will they can ask you four five statement now you should know four five statements that means that you collect the 4 5 statement, repeat it many a time so that you do not miss it basically. Okay, but the most of the question, if you look at here, the questions are basically assertion and reasoning here. Okay, that is the analysis I am talking about. Now they are trying to check your conceptual clarity in terms of where the subject itself is conceptual. So, geography, you cannot just stick to the basics or only facts. You should start becoming good in the physical geography. Along with that, Indian geography facts you should know along with the facts what you are supposed to know you should know the geographical features physiography of the geography the first chapter may plays a major role in all the chapters you can start linking the crops also there minerals also there soils also there so first you become good at understanding what is small plant, what is bagel kind what is you know bundel kind rather than just mugging up where it is whether it is north whether it is south before we were seeing four regions they used to give then they used to ask you the map location you know arrange it from north to south south to north then that would be very easy now they are trying to go in depth of it so knowing the basics about those topics physiography of india plays a major role along with the mapping okay fine now again if you look at the polity same thing again see these are the kind of question what to say that you should know it because finance commission 14th finance commission was asked this was not asked but mains they were asked about 15th finance commission but not in the prelims this year they were asked about prelims right now many a times this kind of question there are two things to look into it one here what they will do government will be given money based on some formula that has been devised by finance commission right if you want to devise some formula then there has to be some specific information that is supposed to be given let's say if i say that stable government what contributes stable government who will define it how do you give some percentage of money or share when someone is staying stable government is this a coalition government is not stable or a single party but there is always a fight within the party between two leaders let's say rajasthan always in the news for there is infighting between you know two leaders right sachin pilot and you know ashok gale you know? <laughs> so but they are actually not fighting but what i am saying is basically can you call it is instable government or let's say in some government there is a coalition government but they are performing very well. Can you call this stable or unstable government? So this cannot be defined. What cannot be defined, you cannot put the money according to that formula. What else cannot be reformed or cannot be defined here? Governments reforms. Which reforms that you will measure? How will you measure and give it the price? But demographic performance you can measure. Let's say TFR has gone down, TFR has gone up. So even when you are looking at this, first thing you should know these topics. You know, these are the topics I cannot say that you should only do with your knowledge part. Even if you are not doing with your knowledge part, you are supposed to start thinking what can be put into a formula, what cannot be put into a formula. Okay? First thing, you should know it. If you don't know it, then the question is this. 
what can contribute, what cannot contribute. At least you should know the stable government cannot be your answer at any place because this cannot be defined. The governance reform, you cannot be defined to give the money. What is governance reform? You never know that, right? Whether it is only e-governance is the governance reforms or it is, you know, including everyone, inclusive growth is the governance. You never know what has to be contributed there. So, these kind of question, at least you should start thinking. If I want to write a formula, then there has to be some measurable thing, quantifiable thing, only that can be put into a formula. Non-quantifiable thing or qualitative things cannot be put into a formula, right? So, these kind of things you are supposed to understand, right? This again India prisons are managed by state government. Parole question was asked in 2021. Again the extension of it basically. Again if you same kind of question, if you know your basics polity done, what is prisons? Prisons come under state subject. If it is state subject, then it will be managed by state government. So just a logical extension of it basically. Right. So again, you know, this kind of question you cannot do anything. If you don't know it, don't attend it. Okay. Don't try to think too much, right? And you know, sir, mass rapid transport can also come, it is transport. So, you know, that way you don't try to cover it because that is a specific initiative. They would have some priority area, but you are not aware of. These kind of questions should be avoided. Now, see, what is the chief purpose of constitution? If you look at the question, the constitutional government has been asked three times up to now, if you have seen the paper. 14 they had asked, 20 they had asked, 21 they had asked. Three times constitutional government was asked before. If you look at here, basically, I just show you here. The constitutional government is one, which plays the effective restriction on this. The constitutional government by definition is a. The constitutional government means. This is the three times that has been asked already. Right? Huh. So, if you know what is the answer for this, this is a limited government. What is constitutional government means? That means that a government limited by the term of the constitution. Right? So, if you even just know it, here what is the question? Chief purpose of the constitution, right? Constitutional government is government running by the constitution, right? What is the chief purpose? Then it defines and limits the power of the government. It has already been asked three times. So, what I am saying is you should analyze the previous year question, how they are asking the question first, right? Once you understand that, it becomes very easy how you are supposed to do your preparation then, okay? Okay. 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 Again, which of the following is widely believed to be enacted to overcome the judicial interpretation of fundamental right? Which one is this? First? Yes. First constitutional amendment, right? Is it the 42nd or first? Which one is that? Okay. See, the question is enacted to overcome the judicial interpretation of the fundamental right. Fundamental right was having, you know, has been seen in many ways. There is a different interpretation, different ways. Now, it has, there has been amendment to put that end and say that, you know, through this amendment, we are saying what is fundamental right, what court can do, what court cannot do. That is basically they placed the nine schedule, they cannot, they touch, this is cannot be this thing. Zamindar, everything, you know, they wanted to do the land reforms. There was always a question of right to property was a fundamental right. However, you know, the concentration of wealth should not be there with the people was the, which one? Directive principle. So, to implement that directive principle, there were land reforms happening at that point of time, abolition of Zamindari system, everything was happening at that point of time. So, the first constitutional amendment placed this. These laws which are placed in, you know, schedule 9 cannot be questioned. And they also put that, you know, about the fundamental right with respect to property also, they added reasonable restriction. And also there was always the right to freedom of speech and expression was being violated. That means that there was no reasonable restriction. So if I started acting, which can create a disharmony in the society, was it accepted because there was no reasonable restriction with respect to it. Then that first constitutional amendment added that reasonable restriction there. That if you are creating, you know, animosity among the communities, then that is not coming under the freedom of speech and expression, right? So, these things, right? This is again very straightforward question, which among the following is a constitutional body, right? 
again you know the election of president last year the election of president had happened right so the election of president it was asked in 2014 also the question if you look at that's what i'm telling before what was happening if you know one or two statement you could manage now you should know all the statement properly but the statement were not that difficult right what is the statement if the election of the president of india declared void by the supreme court of india all the acts done by him or her in the performance of duties officer officer president before the date of decision becomes invalid does it become logical because first of all they are, they are the nominated head at the end of the day they are not the real head also basically right whatever they are doing there it has been decision of the government approved by the cabinet then they are signing it most of the time so it is the government this thing not you know even the president election happens this cannot be logically correct whatever the you know happened that has been taken invalid that is not correct again election for the post of the president of india can be postponed on the ground some legislative assembly have been dissolved and the election had to take then you can never make the president one or other government you know during 70s and 80s there were always that government one or other to with respect to president rule there were many it has been taken up so that is nothing to do with the president election right when a bill is presented to the you know, presented to the president of india the constitution prescribes the time limit does it prescribe the time limit within which he has to declare his this thing so these are something which are very basics right but now you don't need to worry about only one only two only three you just rely on your knowledge and solve this kind of questions basically right then this is community reserve now this question which i feel that you know always have a issue some people have you know different opinion on it some people have different opinion on it it only depends what upsc gives the key okay because with respect to finance bill and money bill now there is a financial bill is different finance bill is different after budget has been passed we are call it as a finance. finance bill whether they are asking about that finance bill or financial bill we don't know because the question is it is also a type of money bill only then why there is asking two different money bills if it is a type of money bill and i am asking about the difference of it then it don't make sense it may be money bill versus financial bill what is the difference right that may be the kind of question that they would have tried to ask by mistake they would have put it at finance bill also you never know it has to be weighted what upsc will consider it whether it is considering that budget enactment as a finance bill or is it talking about financial bill okay so this is the question that is again okay okay if you look at here dadya kataka again this was available in ncrt it was the amravati or you know shatavahana kingdom where mahasangika buddhism has been held right one of the known florist area for mahasangika buddhism so concept of stupa it is again directly there in your ncrt concept of stupa is pre buddhist you know it has been directly given in your ncrt right again article 335 defines the term efficiency of administration as it defined if you don't know this is incorrect if you know that this is incorrect you will get the answer so most of the question were like this basically when you know one statement you are getting the answer but what happened is in the examination pressure when you see the change of patterns you are not able to handle that two hours you will lose your calmness basically okay that handling the two hours is what makes the difference someone who is every time clearing what they will do is let's say difficult paper then they come to know that 50% of the students who are serious also lose it because they lose that you know calmness in the examination hall but someone who is clearing every time he knows that you know paper can change i should lose you know do the basics right and some of the application question right my job is done right okay it's so hot here so now i'll just uh, directly come to this is the paper what i am i just wanted to show you not that discussing the whole paper is not the intention of this session in the first place yes hmm. Hmm. that has been given in the delimitation act itself see this is basically internal procedure na because there is always you know you will state that there is a ulterior motive of doing this 
but election commission would have done as it is now once it becomes this there will be too many you know uh, what you say uh, complaints are you know too many cases towards the election commission itself then you know that the the what you say the credibility of the delegitimation commission will be start questioning right so what they have done is since it is a internal the number of seats are not being changed only the delimitation means what they are doing they are changing the constituent lens let's say some you know state or some city has grown to such an extent population has grown to such an extent then they feel that you know this has to be made a separate constituency now it cannot be a you know then they will rearrange among the total population they again rearrange it so this cannot be questioned because it has been directly given in the act because this become more of a legal battles No, when you cannot question, you cannot put the case. No, they will not accept the case because it has been given that you cannot question it. Let's say if the Schedule Nine area, or, you know, something has been put under Schedule Nine, you cannot question it. Up to 1973, at least, case on the Bharati case, they cannot question it. Only the judgment came that it can be questioned even after it, if it has been put after 1972. Then someone now the government if puts it, someone can go and go to the court whether it whether it should be put restriction on it or not. But So for this uh, delimitation, it cannot take. It has not been. It has been given to maintain the credibility. Hmm? Then you know it will become. You know always courts will start thinking that you know political party are doing for their benefit. Then they will tell that Supreme Court is are acting. You know against the government just for the purpose of acting. That can always be a kind of you know debate over it, right? So we cannot just because it is Supreme Court, we cannot say that it will be always right. Also, sometimes that encroachment of the rules will start happening. So usually, what will there is if the law has been given to maintain that you know the uniformity. Otherwise, there will always be a legal battles over there. So they just don't want to do that. Basically, the delimitation commission is anyways given in the you know constitution. Constitution is not given for the delimitation commission. It has told that you can set a delimitation. You know, statutory commission. Which, so under that act, it has been you know through that they have set up an act, and they have told that it cannot be questioned in any court of law. So that cannot be questioned. Okay, once that is an accepted, that is accepted. That has been. No, it is not the part of nine schedule. So that is a separate body. Their decision cannot be questioned. Now, river this thing, river basin that they have told. Now, if they are they want they have taken the decision, then you cannot go to the court based on their decision. Only if there is something technical issue is there, then only you can go. Otherwise, you cannot question that this thing. To Article 263, 262 also talks about this, na? So you know that is in similar way, basically interstate river basin, basically. So, okay. So, so, huh. uh, so this now currently the Kaveri issue, hmm. they are going to court because of technical issues. Yes, 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 yes. So that decision has been not taken in a right manner, but not about the decision as such. Okay. So this is thing. So now we will understand. Okay, now I'll just close this basically. Now we will go topic by topic. What is exactly needed, and then we will see what are the important themes, how questions are coming, how you are supposed to build your network. Then also we will see how current affairs has to be managed, how test series has to be managed, how CSAT is changing, and how you are supposed to manage. Okay, these are the things we will discuss. So otherwise, this itself will take two three hours of you know discussing the paper. I am just showing you the paper because you would have forgotten what was you know happened last four five months back so just looking at the paper you you know you start getting okay this was the paper that has been right right okay i would just put these things just to show right this was you know for example many of the question you can just take it see leaf litter decomposes faster apart from you know as a result of this soil surface is often almost bare what is that meaning of it basically that means that it will not nutrient rich right so now this is answer was tropical rainforest this was the previous year question this year what they have asked with respect to tropical rainforest the it is rich in nutrient soil is rich in nutrient this was the first statement they had given right which was a wrong statement which you can again take it itself from the the tropical evergreen forest has been asked three times before also i have put two question because of the slides you know this thing otherwise there are three questions that is based on the evergreen forest itself okay so these kind of previous year question you should try to understand the things basically let's say what is flora there what is fauna there what is the features of it right okay. again this was one question i just wanted to you know if the tropical forest is removed if not it will not regenerate quickly okay this is because 
What is the answer for it? The soil of the rainforest is deficient in nutrients. This is 2011 straight forward with answer. If you just know that, you can get that done. Okay. So, what I am saying is many of the questions or the topics has been repeated as it is. The themes are repeating. Okay. So, but the kind of asking the option has changed. So, your job is to make sure that you revise as many times as possible and try to cover maximum dimension from the important themes. Okay. Now, what are themes? What are themes? Themes are, let us say, just write it here. Now, what are themes? Every topic, think from the perspective of the examiner perspective, right? If you are a, if you are a paper setter and let us say you want to set questions for science and technology, so what would you like to know from the aspirants? You are a paper setter, now you want to know the difference between CD and DVD, okay? Or you want to know how 5G is different from 4G. If I, if I put it this way, how floppy was different from CD, what was the different you know, problem with floppies, those were the old topics that has been happened over a long period of time. We have moved from that now. Now, as an examiner, we want to know what you are interested about or how aspirant is knowing the emerging technologies. Let us say emerging technology is a theme, right? Emerging technology is a theme. Every question on different technologies, you will get it, let us say, you know, from IT. What are the questions that we can already got? Let us say blockchain technology is also part of IT. So, I put it under a block. So, blockchain technology they are asked. Blockchain, okay, blockchain technology they are asked. Web 3.0 they are asked. NFT they are asked. Central digital currency which is again a part of cryptocurrency are you know that has been asked now. Okay. So, there were 3 to 4 questions here. Right. Then again, Quantum computing is something which are in news, which is the emerging technology. Last year they just asked what is qubit, okay, what is it related to, so it is about quantum computing, the basic question they have asked. Now they may go to the application part, right. Also they had asked about artificial intelligence, which of the following can be effectively used as a application of artificial intelligence. They had asked to also about, you know, one big para they have given about internet of the things. Right? They have given when you wake up, this, this, this will happen, how it is happening, you know, your radio is starting, your, you know, everything is ready, you know, everything internet is connected basically. If I just say that, you know, switch on the geezer, it will switch on the geezer, everything is electrically connected basically. That is what internet of the things. Now, it is only internet of the computers are there, then it is, you know, all the electrical devices can be handled to the internet basically or, you know, internet of the things. This is being asked basically. What else being asked in IT? Cloud computing was asked. Last year there is a question on SAS. Right? Software as service basically that has been asked. There are infrastructure as services there, platform as services there, functions as services there. There are different parts of cloud computing is there. So you can again expect this one as the acting. What else can be asked? Within IT. Within IT. Within IT, you can ask, let us say, you know, this has not been asked. These are the questions that has been asked. If you look at the previous year paper, these are the questions that has been asked. With Along with that, digital signature was asked. Digital signature was asked, right? What else can be expected? Let us say, you know, big data can be asked. Hmm? Data privacy can be asked. Right, virtual private network was asked, right, and difference between VOIP or you know LTG and you know long term evolution and you know VOLT has been asked already. VOLT, LT has been asked. That is 4G versus you know 3G difference kind of stuff, right? That has been already asked. Now the 5G can be asked this year, right? That is in news, and this kind of thing, you know, visible light communication was asked. Right, Li-Fi was asked, how Li-Fi is different from Wi-Fi, the new emerging technology, before now we are wiling Wi-Fi, what is Li-Fi? Light will be basically 
rather than radio waves we will start using the waves. so you know so how how life will work that is being asked basically right so with respect to others if you look at OLED is been asked right then with respect to you know you know this is not something related to this thing but you know sodium lamp versus LED was asked this is not about IT but I am just saying what are the emerging things in every field carbon nanotube has been asked that is about nanotechnology right then with respect to biotechnology you can expect many of the question so let us say BT was one of the very important area from the perspective of UPSC prelims right so if you look at crops BT in terms transgenic crops has been asked right then then within that BT brinjal why people are you know having the apprehension towards BT brinjal this has been asked right then also ball guard 1 ball guard 2 that is you know related to which that has been asked right also if you look at this then which among the following can be done through the you know vegetative propagation that has been asked right so BT question were many with respect to crops only there were many bio pesticide was been asked right so that is not something directly related to BT but I am just saying right right biotechnology was something in terms of human this thing again if I divide this into you know human application there can be two one for application in terms of diseases that is you know hereditary disease that has been asked RNA interference that has been asked recombinant, recombinant vector vaccine has been asked genetic engineer or somatic cell nuclear transfer has been asked pro nuclear transfer has been asked right all these are basically the hereditary was asked before you know 2022 then in 2020 they had asked about this one pro nuclear to transfer what it is related to that means that you know it is something related to the hereditary disease that comes from mother right the mitochondria if the mitochondria have the issue then you know you will have the you know problem with the baby there can be a genetic problem so we were studying it in more as a common term as three parent baby right so what was three parent baby hmm. why why you know the question has been also asked that you know baby will get you know mitochondria or hereditary disease from mother but not father this was the statement given you know so if you look at the how zygote will be formed and those things basically from male sperm it will be given only nucleus all other part nucleus plus other part other organelles mitochondria vacuoles everything will be given from the mother DNA right so mother cell is giving that much our father cell is only giving you the nuclear nucleus right that is why in the beginning stage when there is mother nucleus as well as father nucleus we call pro nucleus in the beginning stage prokaryotics beginning stage that is the early in the word pro means already early in the biology right so pro nucleus will be formed and mitochondria will be taken from other so if a mother has a mitochondrial problem what they are doing keeping the mother nuclear as it is but they are taking basically mitochondria and other everything from another woman who is healthy and putting it to this and then they were so this is basically something called pro nuclear transfer so that is anyway so that is being also asked then what else has been asked in BT what is transcriptome that has been asked the term meaning of transcriptome this time what they have asked aerial mega genomics right that has been asked this year 2023 right what else has been asked huh? satellite DNA was asked this year that is these two are 23 questions what else has been asked about DNA DNA fingerprinting has been asked DNA barcoding has been asked right so all this if you look at the question even if I am you know remembering I am 20 questions only now right so there are more than that many questions from the biotechnology all these are emerging CRISP Cas9 or CRISPR has been asked right so all these things has been asked again Cas9 is also related to you know the disease problem wherever if you are having the problem with your molecular scissors what we say it will go and only take the problematic DNA part that part that coding part will be taken and with the healthy coding part will be put it there basically that is basically about you know CAS9 protein that what we are discussing about so there are around 15 to 20 questions from the biotechnology itself right nanotechnology they are asking like this 
right now with respect to space you can expect what is cryogenic engine how it is you know different how you know the reusable satellite that is the new trend rather than you know wasting lot of money get the you know satellite back and you know after putting the satellite usable you know reusable vehicle can be used and that vehicle can be keep on you can use it basically that is something which is being discussed now sending human into that you know space is being discussed all these new things which are happening you should be aware of now chandrayaan 3 has happened now not just knowing about chandrayaan 3 knowing about south pole why it is important to send to south pole how why other countries could not send to south pole or what is the difficulty in south pole landing basically why smooth landing is difficult in south pole these are the technical issues you should know from the layman perspective you don't need to have the technical understanding of too depth in terms of or don't need to read so many components that has been given there pragyan rover like this they will give the term right itr has been asked what is itr international thermal hmm? i mean full form is okay what is it basically <laughs> what is it basically itr has been asked one time right what is itr it is a nuclear fusion project now we are having nuclear reactors which works on fission where uranium will get split and then we get the energy what is fusion which happens in the sun deuterium and tritium will come together and you know then it will pr prepare the helium which is you know much more energy which will give compared to this nuclear and also when you know this basically have you know in this way right the tokamak the word you would have heard tokamak what is tokamak it is basically a magnetic field which will you know keep that hydrogen atom safe without even coming out from the because that is too hot plasma will be too hot to have that nuclear fusion right it can melt the entire device so to not to come out of that this magnetic or you know field that will be done with that tokamak technique so that is the word tokamak is associated tomorrow they can ask the just just they will ask what is this tokamak is related to itr then you know satellite like this they will chandrayaan 3 like that they will give four five options now your job is to just understand what is this future technologies or future project that is happening with you what is human genome project has been asked right so if you look at the biotechnology there were more than 20 25 questions with respect to it or other sectors emerging technologies are more important so try to cover the emerging technologies in a more layman term let's say if i am saying that nft then you should know it in a very layman term what is nft right what is nft by the way <laughs> ha that is full form what is it what is non fungible token yeah, that is application correct you are telling is correct basically yes but what is it basically why why nft is needed or what is it basically okay kind of ha huh. so because what i am saying is whenever this kind of question has been asked you should have the absolute clarity in a very layman term i am not saying you to have the technical you know blockchain nobody will understand even if you are a software engineer you will not understand blockchain because that is advanced within the it field also only few people can understand the technical detail you don't need the technical detail regarding to it all you need to change is it is a decentralized app tomorrow defi can be asked decentralized finance you know european every banks is now promoting the definance bank there should not be any central server you can send to me without even you know being controlled by the central server that will you know increase the more financial this thing okay but only problem with them is always the security issue why that is being used you cannot track it may be used for the you know other terrorism or other kind of activity so you know organized crimes have start increasing so that can be one of the concern they are addressing but you should know what is defi what is d app decentralized apps right these terms you are keep on getting right those you should know what is the meaning of it so non fungible token is something like this okay so it is let's say i have you know let's say just imagine that tendulkar has scored 100 century right now the bat in which he scored 100 century can be sold in the market for a very huge sum right now that can be that is a physical good he can keep it he can sell it similarly let's say there are some digital goods that means that my painting original painting i have done something like it or let's say you know it is a musical album 
the original album after that you will get the copy but the original album right this will be always given as a non fungible token that means that the it is similar to how we are selling the goods like that he is telling the original good in the market once that has been given non fungible token all others copies that is available in the market are just copies of them they are not original so now if i see someone as a music you know new brand is coming new band is coming they are performing very well i feel that you know they are having the potential to become one of the india's major players what i will do i will take their non fungible tokens use karke i will take their album first okay first album original album after 10 years if you imagine that they become you know blockbuster then what will happen their original first album can be sold for a very huge sum right so how you know that this is the original that they will do it through the blockchain technology which is called as an non fungible token which cannot be created so in that way if you just understand the basic of it it will be more than enough but what i am saying is try to understand the concept related to blockchain technology what is mining of the coin right they will say mining of the coin no cryptocurrency has to be mined what is the meaning of mining right solving the complex mathematical problem or thing and then you get its one cryptocurrency in your pocket why it's you know profit of stake right all these things basically what i am saying is try to understand what is happening in every field of technology with respect to the new trends okay now let's say lithium ion battery that is the old trend right now we are having liquid batteries or let's say you are having zinc air batteries so try to understand the new technology in electrical vehicle what is happening how it is being done what are the various initiatives that is being got? not just initiatives the technology associated with it right solid state battery now lithium everything is a liquid state battery so there can be a leakages right so it cannot be transportation problem will always be there how to overcome this now they are trying to build a solid state batteries right like this you know electrode and electrolyte will be liquid solid like that they will start changing it to make it more safer right so try to understand these things which are changing in the market okay that will give you an edge in the way that okay this is what i am studying this is what i am studying in biotechnology biotechnology what is new things happening what is recombinant you know vector vaccines what is the meaning of it once the terms are there at least you should have the very layman term you don't need to have exact understanding of it okay i mean you don't need to have the technical terms understanding but at least you should know what is molecular scissors right what is that molecular scissors means the exactly the similar way we have a physical scissors they are a molecular scissors that means that go to that molecule take off the only problematic molecule rather than taking the whole dna out fix it so that that problem is sorted right so the genetic problem can be sorted only by fixing only that part now that is not there now that we are trying to do with this cs and you know crispr technologies and all like that you try to cover from the science and technology the more from this right you know in terms of environmental friendly right now coming to environment what is important in environment there are certain chapters which are important in environment okay 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 environment again now the things are changing pollution is being asked from last you know pollution is having the major share this year also they have asked about mercury pollution right every year there will be question on pollution you know what kind of question before they were just asking which of the following minerals are found are you know gases are found in let's say e waste that was a kind of question now they are going with respect to industry copper smelting has been asked steel has been asked magnetite particle where you will get you know we have in the neurogenerative diseases magnetite particle was asked with respect to pollution copper smelting was asked coal ash contains what this has been asked mercury pollution has been asked which of the following are found in you know water in india which of the elements are found that has been asked also you know as i told copper smelting steel industry which will the gas that will be released also they are asking magnetite particle brominated retarded you know that vrms and also they are asking micro beads or plastic pollution however it is happening in the sea may if you look at basically the micro plastics is becoming a major concern with respect to the fishes and all that is being addressed then policy related to it solid waste management what are the various policy related to it plasma gasification has been asked 
pyrolysis has been as they just give the term there are something term called pyrolysis and plasma gasification is associated with this is the first trend of question then they will go to the technology now you know that it is about this what is pyrolysis right what is plasma gasification that you should know the basics tomorrow because now they go to one part extent of it energy you know waste to energy what are the various technology that will be conducted for waste to energy algal blooms has been asked right so all these things are being asked now you try to cover maximum pollution from the maximum perspective not just studying you know remembering only the part of it rather than that which are the present issues right what are the you know lead will be available in makeup every day what is happening in that only the questions are coming so try to cover that part species how you are covering you are trying to cover apart from habitat as well as this what is that where it will be found what is its iucn protection status also you are finding the interest behavioral patterns that is happening you know but don't dig into minute species which you never heard of first place you try to cover you know crow can have its own you know properties the peacock will show you know intimate its to mating for its you know partner through opening and dancing basically right these are something which you know basically happening now so those things itself can be asked many a times right so try to cover them okay uh, sometimes you know monkeys will start you know screaming when you know the tigers are coming so that it is basically it will look it can look from there and it can start screaming and you know intimate other animals in the this thing to predator is coming basically okay so what i'm saying is there are many things which you know it is happening around try to have the interest towards it and start covering it okay but always try to cover known species don't try to cover you know some species fish species have this characteristic not required most important things that you are keep on encountering try to cover it okay so species before they were asking what is naturally found in india gharials and then they were giving you know leatherback turtle swamp deer which of the following are endangered this was the question or they were asking the question let's say you know black crane you know so these kind of question they were asking now they are giving the species name whether they are bird whether they are fishes like that they are giving this year they had asked about which of the following is not a bird okay last year they had asked among them they have given one mashir blue finned mashir which will be found in kaveri river that was the previous question which of the species found in which river system you if you remember 2018 or 19 they had asked blue finned mashir kaveri they have given iravadi dolphin chambal river they have given rusted cat they have given the eastern cat like that they have given the species and the habitat before even by knowing that looking at the option you can usually say that mashir is a you know fish species not a bird species you could have removed it basically right so in that way try to cover your pollution part as well as the protected areas and international initiatives okay these are the important part for environment with respect to polity now coming to polity what are the question that is being asked let's say the basics is being checked now at least 3 to 4 questions are from the basics okay 3 to 4 questions sometimes 2 sometimes 3 sometimes 4 also like what are the question that has been appeared if you remember let's respect liberty one first they have at meaning of liberty right then they compared liberty and laws if there are no laws no liberty and if you want to protect the liberty what should be there independent judiciary committed judiciary that is the kind of question that they have been asked right so all these things were asked with respect to liberty also the definition of liberty what is the purpose of liberty growing oneself fully that was the option you know the objective of liberty that has been no restriction or you know do whatsoever whatsoever you want to do whether that is liberty or growing opportunity to grow oneself fully is liberty this kind of question has been asked so always you should pick the broader meaning right so that is the kind of question that has been asked then the definition of state was asked then constitutionalism was asked then what is the feature of parliamentary form of government asked within that why parliamentary form of government that has been asked one more time then they compared indian parliamentary and british parliamentary that has been asked right within the parliamentary system one of the feature that is the salient features of indian you know constitution that you see the chapter now they are asking two three question because we are just saying separation of power 
without even understanding what exactly constitutes the separation of power. Then they are asked about democracy. What is the virtue of the democracy? You know, putting the intelligence of the common people into the activity. That has been the statement that has been given. They were asked about bureaucracy and its role. What is bureaucracy do basically? Right. So, that is bureaucracy they had asked. Then what they had asked? Federalism. One time meaning of federalism they had asked. Then what is the essential feature of federalism they had asked? Where they had given same that you know independent uh, judiciary and you know these things that has been given basically committed judiciary that has been given in that question basically one of the option was answer was independent judiciary that is you know keeping that aside. So if you look at here last 3-4 years there are more than 10-12 questions from only from the basic concept which you should cover from one political theories other our constitution at work. Okay? These are the two important NCRT is must before you starting the Lakshmi Kant. Okay? Then parliament is being asked but the recent changes with respect to judiciary. Right? If you look at the questions this time they are started asking more from the judiciary question but not the previous kind of question how supreme court will be abated what is the original jurisdiction what were the previous question which of the following constitutes the original jurisdiction two times they have asked about the original jurisdiction right now they are asking about who are liars who are attorneys what is the role of bar council right then they are asking what constitutes the contempt of court whether high court can you know review its own order or not right along with that Last year they had asked about, now tomorrow they can ask you about advocate on general or you know they had asked about judicial custody versus police custody, parole. The word we are using, newspaper you are getting the word but you do not know the meaning. Sometimes we say that cognizable offence. It is a cognizable offence. What is cognizable offence? Very layman term. No, that is a technical. Right. So very layman if you want to, huh, serious. Serious allegations are serious this thing where you do not need a warrant to arrest someone. If it is serious I cannot get the warrant then arrest because it is something serious right. You can go and directly arrest him. Police will come just take him to the police station that is cognizable offence. That means that without warranty connects. Tomorrow they can ask you about compoundable and non-compoundable offences right. So the question is opening up. What is about now they have also proposed to amend the IPC and CRPC. So now the question can be about CRPC. What is the, you know, what will constitute CRPC? What is IPC? Right. So these things you should start knowing the things basically. So try to understand what is, you know, bail. What is anticipatory bail? The word we are coming across, right. So try to get the meaning of it. What is parole? What is for law? Right. So try to cover the part that you are encountering the word. You have heard the word but you never, you know, took tension to you know, read about it in Google. Right. So that kind of word, you are keep on hearing it, judicial custody is always one news, right. Arunab Goswami has been taken into judicial custody, you know, son of Shah Rukh Khan has been taken into judicial custody, Riya Chakraborty has been taken into judicial custody. At that point of time it was in news, everyone was going to the judicial custody, right. But what was the judicial custody, what is the difference between so, compare it to police custody. That we are not aware, we are not even reading what is judicial custody. Now the, when the basic question about it comes, basically we are not able to solve it. So, this is one reason that you know the exam is moving towards more question kind of law based questions. So, someone who should know the law of the country, you know, rather than just knowing the constitution articles, you should also know law, meaning of the terms that are associated with in your daily life. What constitutes cognizable offence, what non constitutes non cognizable. Just by knowing the definition would be sufficient. Understanding the basic things would be sufficient. They are not checking your legal knowledge regarding it. Okay. Let us say I have civil laws, criminal laws. What is the difference between civil laws, criminal laws, personal laws? Right. So, just we are using it is a criminal act, it is a civil act. Something you know defamation, civil defamation, criminal defamation. So, what is this civil and criminal? Right. That has to be understood in your basic meanings. So, that will give you an edge at the end of the day like okay. This is now because the questions, the way of asking question is being checked. The more acts they are being asked, Judiciary Enquiry Act. Right. So, these kind of questions are being asked. So, with respect to judiciary, try to start understanding the concept from the longer perspective or in a broader perspective that is being used on a daily basis. 
anticipatory bail means you should know what is the anticipatory bail when you can give who can give you the anticipatory bail when you can take the anticipatory bail right so these things you start understanding the things as well as the structure of supreme court that means that who is advocate on record what is the meaning of it what is senior advocates right what is the difference between lawyer and advocate what is the difference between lawyer advocate and barrister right just you know having the basic understanding of it what is the role of bar come you know bar council if you register in a bar council of delhi can i practice in bangalore okay so like that basically you know only registering in that high court i can practice that high court or i can practice in any high court in across the india so these smaller things you should start knowing there there only they will give the questions if someone has registered to a particular state bar council he cannot practice in other state this is the statement then you are now how would i know whether i can practice it or not so what i am saying is just understand how things work if you are registered to bar council then you are called lawyer or you know advocates right otherwise it is just a lawyer or attorneys just if you finish law you are a lawyer but whether you have become advocate or not depends upon whether you are registered for bar council or not right so what is advocate on record do right what is senior advocate right like that you try to get the technical terms related to judiciary because the judiciary is becoming very important you know type of question one or two every year it is being asked second basic question these two has to be done first okay parliaments they are asking the same kind of question they are not stiffing along with that more questions are coming from okay more questions are coming from let's say fundamental rights they are asking more about application based of question okay they are done with the basic question you know which of the following will be available to citizens or foreigners or minority will get which of the following rights so that has been done now now one they are trying to understand the conceptual clarity what is right to equality means or what is due process of law means this year the question was what is the meaning of due process of law right whether it is a fair application of law natural justice right this was the kind of question that has been asked right last year also they had asked about what is the absence of equality means you know then what is that you know it is absence of you know equality means absence of privileges absence of restraints right so the question is it is about absence of privileges basically right so like that the question was asked now right to marry of one's own choice whether it comes under what right to privacy comes under what now lgbt community judgment has been come recently right so whether it has been taken under article 21 or article 19 other you know many a times internet will be disrupted if you remember in manipur internet was disrupted so right to internet is what comes under which fundamental right or is it a fundamental right in the first place or not right whether it is a legal right fundamental right what it is basically if it is fundamental right under which article it is coming right so let's say hijab issue has come so we should we consider you know wearing our own kind of dress whether it is comes under article 19 or it has to be considered as right to religion article 25 so what constitutes essentiality of religion then the world has been given whatever whenever you are seeing whether it is right to religion or not we will go with the essentiality of religion what is essentiality of religion in the sense whether this whatever the practice that we are is it really essential for that religion or not or it has been given having some significance or not just some practice you are doing it doesn't mean that you know it should be a core part of the religion right let's say you know practicing something which can be a core part let's say but at the same time salekana vrata that means that you know the practice of salekana where someone will live in start doing hungry and being hungry and die without you know that will happen in the jaina culture right whether when the man goes to court it is a kind of suicide in a way right you are not eating anything and you are going to this so will should be should it be considered under that or it should be considered under right to religion so whenever this kind of question then that kind of doctrine of essential to religion will come so even during the hijab this world has come okay so what i am saying is when this kind of word down at least you try to understand the gist of it okay so that is where you will get a edge basically you have the basic clarity don't go again deep into it and start reading so many articles about it what is essence of religion or essentiality of a religion meaning of it that's it right now right to internet is in news you have to remember it because it has been taken in manipur of so these things will come to play when you are thinking. otherwise what will happen you will start getting confused two three option looks very similar right so how do you check some right to information whether it is under article 21 or article 19 right so which under article it is 
19. So whatever can be restricted, very, very simple term, whatever government is restricting, that is under Article 19. What cannot be restricted, that will be in the Article 21, because Article 20 is the broader right, not just right to life, but with the dignity. Right. So if you want to live with the dignity, I want to marry someone, that is my choice, government should not have the, any business in it. Right. So that comes under Article 21. Right to drinking water. If I want to survive, not just survive, but if I want to have a quality of life, I need a right to environment. So that comes under Article 21 because I want to live with the dignity, not just giving a house. You know, the house should be, you know, pakka house, not kacha house. Right. If government is giving house to poor, then it should be pakka house. Otherwise, it goes against Article 21. That is not just right to life, it is not just mere existence like you know animals it is the human human dignity has to be maintained but right to internet is basically if government is taking it off that means that assume it that there are reasonable restriction based on which they are taking it off right to life you cannot give the reasonable restriction and take it off even during emergencies you cannot take the article 20 and 21 just imagine that what is the article 21 is in the normal types you can anyways not take even during the national emergencies whatever the fundamental right that can be taken off all other rights can be taken off except Article 20 and 21. That means that it is basically whichever the law which gives you more freedom to live with, that will be basically Article 21. Whatever government is restricting, that means that that comes under Article. If they are not hiding the information, there is a sensitive information, I can't give you. That means that it is a Article 19. Okay? They can restrict it. Okay? Try to understand this way. If someone has told you that you, know, you cannot come to this place, no, Manipur, no one, body can come now because there is some issue, nobody can come. Then this right to movement within the country comes under Article 19. Okay? That is anyways, it is already there, right to freedom of movement, but it is under Article 19, it is directly there. But I am telling that whatever they are restrict, government can restrict, that comes under Article 19. Whatever gives you your more freedom, where government cannot curtail it, it becomes Article 21. Like that you try to understand the difference between them rather than mugging up the thing. Then it becomes you know, any new option they have given. Then you can check it whether you know right to marry of your own choice. Can government control it? Or it is your with your life and dignity whatever that whom you want to marry whether you can marry or not. So which under which article it should come? Right to privacy. Can I can they share my data or not? Because I may have you know you know my with to dignity. Some people may have some diseases that they don't want people to know. Right? So tomorrow healthcare system, if they are declaring all the names of them, then it goes against the right to privacy. That means that article, their dignity is being taken off there. Right? So it is basically comes under Article 21. Similarly, you have to understand this kind of basic understanding, cultivate this kind of understanding. This is where fundamental rights question are being asked in last 3-4 years. Okay? So try to cultivate application of fundamental rights. Mandamus, before they were asking, you know, now they are going 3-4 statement on mandamus. Who can apply it? Who cannot apply it? What is habeas corpus? All these things you have to be very, very, pretty much comfortable with. Only how you will become comfortable? You have to read it 5-6 to six times. Before the prelim, minimum 5-6 to six time reading is needed with the changing pattern. Now you cannot just stick to 2-3 revision. One or two option I will be knowing. Another two if you don't know, you cannot attend. You will get stuck. Only way to come out of this is topics are not changing. Right? Similarly, parliament chapter is very important. Try to cover the parliament chapter and proceedings of it. Now they are asking more about adjournment motion. What is the meaning, you know, reason for the adjournment, right? So those things are being asked now. The prosper proceedings, try to cover it. Many a times, you know, they will be taken off. You know, privileges will be, you know, what is the parliamentary privileges they are having? What is the power of speaker in whenever they are, you know, going against the ethics committee. There, you know, recently the ethics committee has been taken some rule, right? And some, you know, data has been shared and, you know, uh, that has been given that, you know, ha, Mahua Moitra case, right? So that is in the news now, right? So try to understand the proceedings of it. Who gave it? Who, which complaint has been given? Anybody can give complaint or who gives that, you know, what committee that has been set up? So who are the members of that committee will be? So try to cover from the polity perspective of it. So you will get a clear idea about it basically okay all right okay so that is about polity so other things preamble these things are they are asking you know so you will have only three four questions anyways topics within the preamble you just cover the basics of it that would be done but sometimes the questions are more open ended right rights are duties are correlated these kind of things 
right right cannot be taken off or this kind of term these are general question that you have to cover try to understand what is rights first then understand what is legal right versus fundamental right what is legal right fundamental right versus human right right human rights declaration how it is different fundamental rights and human rights what is basically their difference right so start trying to understand the things okay then the first you have to for this ncrt will give you understanding what is your right how constitution will give you right all this you will understand from the ncrt try to cover your ncrt before starting the subject okay that is about this now coming back to geography again the conceptual question has been increased last year there were 18 questions from geography okay the before there were already 10 7 if you look at last 3 years back geography was often neglected because there was not many questions were coming even the questions were coming they were coming on drainage system and you know climatology one or two chapters now the more economic geography questions has been asked the minerals related right that is being asked along with that the most important is the physical geography of india physiography as well as climatology of the overall physical geography that is world geography may they are asking about it so try to cover your concepts better what is s wave what is p wave what is climatology even you know just knowing it will not be sufficient understand what is insulation how this work what is you know infrared radiation long you know short wave long wave all try to you know what is jet stream hey right? try to understand the concept in a again as i told you concept should always be understand in a very layman term okay you should have the proper clarity about it what is la nina what is enzo the monsoon is always be a news this year bad monsoon you can expect a question on monsoon and also always remember 2019 if you open the paper look at 2019 paper 2014 paper these paper were not asking many government initiatives and all because these are the election years usually in election year paper will be almost you know kind to make the neutral then what will happen static part of the question will come more rather than what this government is doing they just want to keep it you know that way again next four years government you know whichever government comes then again the government kind of question so doesn't mean that you should not read the initiatives read very important initiative everything but keeping that in mind that there can be higher chances that static kind of question can be increased if you look at the 2019 paper as well as 14 paper you will understand it basically that the because that year it is a election year so nobody wants to you know just push the government programs in that paper basically right so they just want to have the open ended kind of paper and automatically what will happen questions from the static part will increase okay that you are supposed to keep in mind okay that is about this one okay then with regard to ancient india medieval india again there are some topics which are more important than others that you should cover vertically what is horizontal and vertical means there are few topics which are relatively more important you cannot stick yourself in the lesser important topic also more important topic i was studying ncert that is not done buddhism and jainism is one such topic where questions are extend asking as if they are going too deep about it so you should also go, go vertical analysis or you know go deep about it basically so whatever the question that has been asked in buddhism if you look at the previous question 11 and all they were asking what is the difference between mahayana and hinayana what is bodhisattvas right ha huh. so they were asking mahayana hinayana right hinayana then they were asking difference are common between buddhism and jainism what is basically you know characteristic of mahayana where they were asking deification you know idol worship like that they used to you know bodhisattvas they were giving that then over a period of time they shifted these basics were over then they started asking subsects of mahayana and hinayana right stanakwasi na sarvastavedin ar satantrika samyan that that kind of question they are part of this they are part of this that they have started asking right tanakwasi was basically jainism but i am telling so this kind of question was started asking even within the jainism they have started asking about philosophy if you look at the gs question whether it is which law will take this one and also some characteristic of jainism they have told that they believe in the soul that lies in even in the non living object it was one of the statement that was given in the 
question previously in 2013, same question was asked here directly this year. Soul can be found which religion we are talking about. Then they gave the option of Jainism, Buddhism and you know this year question if you look at about the Jainism, it was already repeated in 2013 by asking the characteristic of Jainism. Right. Now after this Buddhism what they are asking? They are going to Buddhist architecture. Right. Again Chaitya Vihara's question was asked one time. Stupas was asked. Then cave architecture where they are asked about Ajanta, Ellora caves. Right. This year Baja caves was asked. Right. And Satinival case was asked about Jaina cave has been asked this year. Right. So, the cave architecture with respect to Buddhism, Ajanta is one of the basically they would ask. I mean, in another is, you know, you have to start building the network based on this. What are the various mudras related to Buddhism? Bhumisparsha mudra, Abhaya Hasta mudra. What is this Abhaya mudra? Bhumisparsha. Bhumisparsha was asked already. Right. You know, showing Mara that, you know, I am not fearful about this that has been asked previously, 2018 or 17. Now, they may ask other type of mudra. So, you can start building the network because this is a question that has been asked in a many dimension. Subsects has been asked. Now, they can ask you about Vajrayana. Right. Which kind of religion is there in Sri Lanka, Theravada Buddhism can be asked. You know? So, Theravada where you will get it, Mahayana Buddhism where you will find it, At, across India because Buddhism is anywhere not much in India but it is outside India, right. So, Japan, China and all which kind of Buddhism, whether it is Mahayana or Theravada Buddhism, Sri Lanka, Cambodia, Thailand, what kind of Buddhism it is, whether it is a Theravada Buddhism or Mahayana Buddhism. So, you should try to understand those things basically, right. So, that will be a kind of question that has been asked. Right, then follow, now they have gone one step ahead again, that is Buddhist literature. Last time they had asked three literature kind of question, right, which among the following are Jaina text, which among the following are Buddhist text. Then they have given Netapikarana, right, Netipakarana they have given, right, Avadana Sataka they have given, Trishashta Lakshana Mahaparva they had asked, right, Mahapurana, right. So, they had asked about these things that is Buddhist literature. Then they are also asked about Arya Deva whether he is a Buddhist scholar, Dignana whether he is a Buddhist scholar, they have given Natu Muni whether he is a Buddhist scholar. So, they have given three scholars name and you know in 2022 if you look at the names, there were three names, Dignana was given, Arya Deva was given, right. So, they had asked about that also along with the whether he is a Buddhist scholar, Jain scholar and Vaishnava scholar like that three scholars ka match the following pair. So, now they are asking about the literature part of it. Now also you should know what is Bodhisattva and terms related to it. What is Bodhisattva? What is Paramitas? Right. So, Buddhism is one such topic where your NCRT will not be sufficient. Whether you search in the internet, it's fine. Whether you, you know, search some standard book, take reference book and studying Buddhism, only from Buddhism that chapter it would be fine. Don't study all the chapters. For some chapters you have to go depth, you have to go depth, there is no choice. Okay. Jainism and Buddhism is one such topic. Okay. Other thing, cave architecture in terms of art and culture, cave architecture and architecture part, in fact temple architecture, they are asking more question, but they are not going too depth into it. If you just know Bara Bara Caves, what it is famous, where it is located, what is famous it for, one, one or two lines. They are not going minor caves. They are just still asking Badami Caves only, Ellora Caves only, Barabar Caves only. Right, they are not going, you know, this time they are asked, Besnagar was been asked this time. Right, then Baja Caves was been asked. All these caves are already present in your, you know, NCRT Fine Art book. If you just see the diagram there, go that, go see the diagram there, try to understand what is it about, okay. So, in that way, you try to cover Buddhism in more, you know, and with respect to that, let's say Vajrayana, you should just know that they use the tantric methodology basically, right. And how it is Mahayana and Buddhism, and Hinayana is different, how they are different? Sanskrit. Sanskrit. Hmm? Idol worship. See, first it was started with Hinayana. Hinayana rather than they were calling it Theravada, but Mahayana called Theravada as Hinayana, saying that this is something inferior. Okay. So they had called they their superior, but it started with you know only what Buddha had told, only my you know Buddha's relics was being worshipped, not the idol worship he was against. Then he always told that if you want to get the you know moksha. 
or nirvana question of nirvana was also asked what is the meaning of nirvana the you know bliss that was the question that option was one of the question option was the bliss that is you know that was asked actually in 2018 or 19 i think the term nirvana essentially mean what so nirvana means basically you are getting that kind of you know moksha kind of stuff right so uh, buddhism has told that you know you should get moksha by yourself you find your own way that may be different from individual to individual their kai cannot teach how you should get moksha or how you should get nirvana this is the basic idea you learn it you practice in your own way it will what will work for you may not work for someone else right so but mahayana is like no if someone has learned the idea of getting moksha then keeping it himself and telling others that you learn it yourself this is not something acceptable because they are called bodhisattvas you teach others also don't teach for you know learn for yourself you start teaching others so wherever there is a buddhist worship and teaching those things is happening basic dalai lama come and the teachers they are the part of mahayana buddhism okay so then there is no idol worship before there was pali language they are being used over a period of time you know there was a kingdom hindu kingdom has become more dominant then sanskrit use of sanskrit become more prevalent so mahayana buddhism started using sanskrit for their literature basically so next year they can ask about that you know pali and prakrit which of the you know books have been written in pali which of the following are written in sanskrit so like that literature is being asked many a question this time if you look at this you know 2023 itself there were three question on literature right 22 there were two three question right which of the following you know this year there was three question last year there was i told now which among the following is yoga vasishta was asked last year sangam text was asked last year right so basically this kind of buddhism is where you have to start building the network mudra also just understand the basic meaning of it don't go again abhay mudra don't you know start doing phd on it just having the basic meaning of it what it is then there will be some terms related to his birth what is the various symbol shown with his you know with his with respect to his first sermon what is the symbol associated mudra associated with respect to his death or mahaparinirvana what is you know this one what is the enlightenment that is you know the wheel that we say right so what is the symbolic diagram that we show what is the symbolic diagram a horse is being shown like that you try to cover buddhist and jainism in a more broader way in this way you want to cover this in vertical so some topics has to be vertically covered among them is always you imagine any topic for example gandhi ji so only ncert would suffice about gandhi ji ambedkar is it suffice or raja ram mohan rai is it suffice so whenever you are feeling that this personality is more important then you cannot stick yourself to ncert or you know any other book say that it is sufficient then you cannot attend the questions like songs from prison the question songs from prison one who has understood gandhi ji is important he would have already said the internet which of the books he has written which of the organization he was associated with in india as well as in south africa so go depth about gandhi ji because the examiner has done with the basic question he will not ask about keda satyagraha champaran satyagraha and those things he can go one step ahead always you should be ready with that and you cannot question because ambedkar right so b r ambedkar you should go not just sticking to ncert because ncert may there is nothing much about apart from writing the constitution his social battles or social fight that he has done there is a very less mention about it right so you should start covering those he could not be seen just him as a constitutional expert or a liar he is much more than that right he is actually you know fought for the rights of the down trodden right so then you should try to understand it what is his idea of basically this so the question can be gone depth in terms of that if you look at this year mains paper asked about rabindranath tagore and mahatma gandhi comparison right similar question can come in prelims rabindranath tagore you cannot just stick to you know what do you know about rabindranath tagore apart from that you know he has written janagana mana what you know shanti niketan only two information we have right so now it is very important for you to go in depth what are the educational reform that he has done what is it shanti ketan is about basically so in that way you should try to cover similarly university with respect to buddhism what is taksila university what is nalanda university nalanda university anyways in the news basically vikramashila university so like that you try to cover them in more depth so that don't stick yourself to ncert nalanda university can be asked any time right because that is anyways in news shanti niketan is also in the recently in news you have seen that modi board and acharya that has been done right so that was in news so 
try to cover some topics more important in the sphere of civilization more important topic but as of now they are asked only four five questions right what are the question one is about dola vira they had asked in 2021 extensively water drainage system where it is available then they had asked about the difference between you know in the sphere of civilization and rigvedic vedic period you know, what they were using what they were using what are the you know then the religious practices that they were at whether they were secular they know about cotton this was another question that has been asked right so other part like you know which of the following is not a indus site or harappan site they had asked then they had given chanudaro kot dg hai you na know? sopura sogpura right then desalpur like that four option they have given sohagpur was basically related to copper plate during the mauryan age so that has been the answer but whatever i am saying is basically only the basic question has been asked so try to cover them what was their economic what was their town planning those things whenever you are reading a topic you as a examiner you should think try to think from the perspective of a examiner what is important to you if you are picking the question whether you pick more question from indus valley civilization or prehistoric sites prehistoric site you don't have the written history you don't know anything much about it rather than some painting and sites right other things are you know it is prehistoric that means that it was not written anywhere so we are only assuming taking some excavation and thinking these people may be sleeping like this eating like this right there may be death, death ceremony has been done maybe like this so everything is maybe basically right so there is nothing so they will not ask that kind of question whenever there is no clarity for the historian itself you will not get the question question at the max what you will get whatever that has been excavated that will be given that means that you know burza home is known for what okay in the similarly you know uh, let's say you know megaliths is related to what that kind of question you can expect not you know something this thing so wherever the history has not written you know the same with harappan civilization you don't need to remember their social life because that is being assessed by various historian maybe you know there is a citadel so there is a lower town upper town that means that maybe in the lower town these workers were staying maybe 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 when it is maybe the question will not be asked that is why whenever they are asking now they are making it very specific in terms of according to kautilya sarta shastra because nobody has talked about slave in detail so they cannot give just because you know kautilya has written it they will cannot conform to it according to newnis vijayanagara or you know men were famous for according to huen song what was during this time so basically they are making it very specific so that even if you want to question it should not be having the ambiguity artha shastra they have written it so we are asking about artha shastra's ideal point rather than asking about mauryas in general okay so in that way where you know more about but you don't need to worry about according to kautilyas you should worry about more about the statements rather okay whether women were expert in wrestling or not you know what he has written nobody will the that 1000 pages of book and examiner give you the question he is giving it according to him for the reason that to make it very specific i am not giving it as in general question okay because newnis would have told that women were good in wrestling sooth saying astrology but it doesn't mean that you know someone may not be confirmed the same thing some author there only few two three lessoners were there they are not very famous right so someone can come up with that theory in that book you know they were not they were more into you know home making kind of stuff during that point of time like that someone can come up with idea so what they will do is they will make the question specific according to him but you should not worry about according to him is how tomorrow i will study about you know barboza also that is not possible right you cannot study about barboza also abdul razak also all the readers then whatever they have written you cannot study that is not your interest your interest they are giving it because they want to make the question specific so that there is no ambiguity in the market okay so you are taking two different books or barboza has not told this so how i can accept it so now they are given according to barboza according to newnis according to abdul razak okay according to kautilya fartha shastra right so in that way the question is making specific you have to rather than thinking about kautilya sarta shastra try to think about the sentence that has been given whether they are making sense to you or not okay so that way you are supposed to think about them so preparing in that way will make your preparation easier then with respect to current affairs now right this is about your uh, history modern india weightage has been reduced but doesn't mean that you know you should put the less efforts because this time again they may increase whenever upsc feels that people are putting less effort having their own strategy they again increase the number of question in mod so modern india last year they had only two three question they were also very basic question one 
who took you know diu from portuguese under which kingdom or you know q was the king that was one question when governor general of bengal become governor general of india under which act he became okay that was the another question there were only two question related to modern india and they were very straight forward and basic also now first one was not basic that easy that is who took from the area who was the king that was not that easy but you know this act was very easy so this was the basic question that has been discussed okay so this is about history geography environment science and tech ir ir ha with respect to ir what is being changed if you look at 3 4 years paper before they were asking no something in your news they were only asking about map based questions for example let's say you know ukraine is in news they would uh, used to ask you a question you know which of the following countries border ukraine okay or which of the you know some sea they used to take general map question which of the following country border this black sea which of the country border this caspian sea so it was basically a map based question or if there were some places in news they were asking which country it is if some you know military groups were in news basically then they were asking this militant group found in which place okay so they were very straight forward kind of question now what they are doing in recent years if you look at last 3 4 years they are not just expecting you to know the place as well as you know only mapping part they also want to you know why they are in news you know where there is a drought happening they are asking the events now which of the following place is known for extensive drought happening from long time which of the following seas where water is being reduced aral sea they will give that extensive plan then you know which of the following countries you know then they give some countries then say mali sudan where there is a military coup or there is a you know drought condition or there is a economy now the argentina is let's say having that economic difficult situation right or you know recently in one country basically the president candidate itself was killed or assassinated right recently so now among which country the president you know has been killed or why this was in news then president was killed so they also want to know why it is in news now not just what is in news and you know places located to it why it is whether it is known for a military coup or is it is extensive drought kind of situation from very long time so this is being congo if you remember the peatland the extensive peatland was actually was in news for congo basin that is why they had asked the question about which of the country comes in congo basin but now the question can also be something like this whether they are known for military coups they are they are known for drought kind of situation so also the for this solution would be reading the newspaper if someone thinking that you know reading the newspaper then you know just you are mugging up the things what happens at the end of the current affair they give one place the country is situated in there are two problem with this then there are 20 30 50 places in news with over a period of time let's say you are revising it but in the examination hall you start getting confused okay because you have mugged up the place and situation not you have not gone through the news of it but let's say you are reading the news what is happening with democratic congo what is happening with sudan what is happening with south sudan this will come on a daily basis articles basis you don't need to again go deep into it just try to go through the international relation from the newspaper even if you do this from now right whatever that happened 6 months back also keep coming recently previously here also this has happened let's say the fourth country has been recently some country there was a military coup how newspaper will come in africa after three military coup of this this country now this is the fourth country again that news will come it is not that you have to read 6 months back the newspaper but read the newspaper for international relations is very very important with respect to the question that they are making whoever is the needing the newspaper most of the question they could easily solve in international relation because they are just asking the basic information about it they are not going even deep about it you know they are asking the basic information so reading the newspaper is must for international relation with the changing pattern okay otherwise you will only know the places and state why it is in news us you will forget because in current affairs only one line two line will be given because they want to cover as many places as possible their intention is they want to show that this place our covered in our magazine right that was their intention of taking the credit so in that way they cover maximum numbers but if you are reading the newspaper but question is not asking about the minute places but what happens in current affairs magazine they will even give you the minute places they are they will be in news for a very small reason for still it will be given to make sure that you know no question will go out of their current affairs means right now this will put enormous pressure on you you will start forgetting getting confused 
then you know sometimes you will start you know I cannot mug up this many places I go through the, this thing and you will go off in the examination. But if you are reading the newspaper it happens because what happens is there will be explanation about it why military coup happened what happened there before what was the reason. So without your knowledge you will be knowing about the topic in depth. Okay? Now Israel and Palestine if you are reading it then you will start understanding what was the issue in the first place why it happened right what was the you know what British did. Why this conflict has started? What is this Arab peace deal they had last year? Right? This year, I think. This year they had asked about Israel and Palestine and Arab peace agreement. Right? When, where you know it has been brokered by Saudi Arabia, Israel has signed it, Bolke they have given. Israel has not signed it, but that was the question that has been given this year. Right? So, in that way, when you are reading it, the topic Israel peace agreement would have been come many a times. Right, you, then you will be knowing Israel has why refused to sign it. Then some article would have come in that place. So read the international relation from the newspaper only. You don't have the choice. So if you are, you know, covering up from the current affairs is not a good idea. Right, they can go to that extent. And also, so many times what happens is without your knowledge, you will get the idea. For example, let's say Ukraine is being bombed or Ukraine is being taken over by Russia. Then what is happening? Bordering countries will start, you know putting the complaint towards UN. It is, you know, you know, creating insecurity for us basically. So they will go to UN, that will be news. Right. So then you automatically you know that okay, this is a bordering country without your knowledge. Because you know that they have went to court just because they are bordering. Otherwise why they will go to the court. Right. Or why they will go to UN. So automatically you will come to know that okay, without even understanding with with, the, with that news only you can connect the things. Right. So go to the newspaper for international relation, cover them, you know, properly. That will give you an idea of this thing. Other things, history and all, they are not asking the current affairs. And even when something is coming, 3D printing, let us say, when it is coming, try to understand what is 3D printing, what is its application, right? Try to just do not stick to the newspaper, but have an eye on newspaper, what is being discussed. Then go and study your material, okay? That would be sufficient, okay? Now coming back to current affairs, you know, subject wise, Changing trends are subject weightage are being changed that we have already discussed. You know, modern India has been asked very less question, other things has been asked more number of question. Type of question you have seen that how pairs has been given, only one statement is matching, two statement is matching, assertion and reasoning kind of question are increasing. Where assertion and reason question of increasing, wherever the conceptual clarity you need, there assertion and reasoning question will come. Then that means that polity, economy, geography, where you can expect maximum of assertion and reasoning question and in some part of international relations also, okay. Other than that which are mostly factual will remain factual, history there will not be assertion and reasoning. So history it is more factual, try to cover maximum factual part from the history part and when you are not revising many a times you will get the things done, okay. Then option and elimination techniques that has been done, however option elimination has been removed that means that if you just know the one statement you could have got the answer. But however, as I told you, I show you few questions, right? By looking at the question, you can say that this cannot be the answer. Or coastal tract, this can be the answer. That logical application of thought process to the statement cannot be removed at all. As long as you become strong at it, you see the question in that way. You start getting the question. For example, if there was a question here, if you have seen it, right? Right, let's say, no? I'll see where it is. Now this was so I'll discuss one sec. This is also Sangam type. Sangam age is also as I told you in in history one regional kingdom are increasing. Within ancient India, the southern Indian kingdoms are being also focused more now. If you look at that Sangam age question is there at least three to four times. Here, what is the what is there in Sangam literature was asked? Then this was asked. This term, what the Kirutal, what is the meaning of it, right? Last year, so now, if you look at here, they had asked about, this question, Korkai, Pumpuhar, you know, with respect to ancient South India, right? Again, South Indian question. So, if you look at here, South Indian question are 3, 4, because most of the ancient and Indian book, whatever they were written, they are concentrated more on, you know, North Indian history as the ancient Indian history, right? South Indian history has been not been given too much of focus upon, even in the textbook we are talking about. So, UPSC is trying to get that done basically, you study the South Indian history also. So, keep that as well as in medieval India only Delhi Sultanate and Mughals were being concentrated even in the books, 
right maximum 80% of the book is containing only delhi sultanate and listing so there were no much information regarding the regional kingdoms now the question is being asked about regional kingdom because there is other part of history also happening everywhere during the medieval period we are not studying it basically that is the intention of you know upsc that people should start studying the regional part of history we are rich in culture as well as with their respect to their practices okay however always try to understand the fact let's say i want to mug up the term okay what is related to delhi sultanate you know revenue collector what what is being called army chief is what being called treasurer is what being called there are some terms basically right now chatavanas will also have their own name right then vijayanagara kingdom will can have their own terms then let's say rashtra hoysalas can have their own terms now can you study all these terms now so first thing you should understand is the terms visually if they are asking basically one if the important theme they are asking that is sangam ejka you should know vijayanagara is one of the important themes you should know other than that delhi sultanates as well as let's say you know uh, moguls okay in terms of medieval india in terms of ancient india mauryas as well as guptas this would be more than sufficient for a simple reason that these were the pan india kingdom when they were ruling pan india their presence their political administration their you know military how their economy everything matters but let's say regional kingdom how they were being administered is not your interest what is their cultural contribution what they were doing with respect to trade that much would be more than sufficient their administration is not something which you require unless it is having some special feature for example cholas were known for decentralization villages you know villages samitis were there that you should know because that is more of a panchayat raj kind of system right that you should know or let's say mauryas were over centralized right so if you know the basic characteristic and terms related to pan india kingdoms that is one basically this one what did that guptas mauryas in ancient india delhi sultanate and moguls in the medieval india vijayanagar is something important that you should know and sangam age do you be because sangam age again contains not just one term they are considering chola also pandya also cheras also right they are having many kingdoms of complete south india was being checked with the sangam literature so sangam were not one kingdom or you know related to one kingdom so sangam literature terms also becomes important for you so other than that don't try to remember all the terms associated with the smaller kingdoms okay only if you know the king name related to that if you are famous king who is there if he has done something you know socially for example building a dam or something you know something his agriculture policy is very well known for you know like that something reform he has done then you should know the basic of it that's it not again in detail just the basics of it okay fine okay so again coming here now let's understand managing the current affairs okay i'll just cover these topics okay cover these topics and then i will end up i'll not have too much of long session here the intention of this session is making you understand what is changing and what you are supposed to prepare for okay otherwise i would have had all the questions how to solve them you know uh, what were the techniques that you could have eliminated how your thought process should be adopted and take care of some of the questions right let's say there was one question this year also about drafting committee why november 26 has been chosen as constitutional day right second statement has told that on that day drafting committee under dr b r ambedkar has been set up okay now if you know that 1949 they have given and they have told november 26 now 1950 january 26 is a republic day that means that constitution has come into force within two months ambedkar drafted the whole constitution so even understanding that basically this will not otherwise also you will be have to know it why this is basically the first indian independence day that has been celebrated in the bank of river ravi right the complete independence bolke the idea of complete independence that has been tried so that for that you know in the remembrance of that november 26 has been you know though november 26 is there january 26 is there this has been done but other than that basically this is the idea right january 26 was that day though it has been enacted on november 26 we kept january 26 in the remember of that complete independence day, right that is anyway that is there now newspaper versus monthly current affairs okay now again as i told you some are more important issue based that is ir science and tech environment here you don't need to environment and all you don't need to study in depth from the current affairs 
try to understand what is happening, which species in news. Some you know lakes will be dying. So that will be news in one day and that will go off. Some article would be there, some protest will be there. So try to cover them, you know, from the newspaper. But don't need to cover historical part, geographical part, or you know, in depth of you know editorial analysis. For important international article, read the editorial. It will also give you the background which will help you to remember in the longer duration. You can connect the dot easily then. Okay? So, read the newspaper for international, other things magazine would suffice. Okay? But however, don't try to make 3-4 magazines over relying on current affairs. One newspaper, any one magazine which you feel comfortable. Okay? Some magazine, the language they use will not be comfortable sometimes. Very, you know, some magazine will be, you know, given content will be fine, but they are not covering comprehensively. Some covering each and minute thing, so it is becoming 200, 300 per monthly magazine. So that much, you know, not a sufficient, I mean, not necessary to read again. So you don't need to go through them at that point of time. So have one current affairs magazine ready along with the newspaper that would suffice. However, use more tests with respect to three subjects. IR questions as well as you know environmental as well as science and technology. These along with the paper try to cover from the test series available in the market. Any test series, any MCQs you keep solving because you know I may cover 10 species in my test series let us say. Insight that means I mean insight right. So another you know someone would have covered another 10 species. So rather than you reading yourself also you are getting the information from any site. Okay. So, like that, but however, for history, polity and all, even if you do from one test series, that would be more than sufficient. Where you are checking your basics is what is mostly <coughs> important from that perspective. But where current affairs related, you need more information, rather than reading 2-3 current affairs, same topic from 2-3 sites, try to cover them from the different test series. So, that extra topic with respect to emerging technology, here we would have asked some 10 technologies. Someone would have asked another 10 technologies in some test. So, you all start getting many technologies in one go basically. So, whichever are the current affairs based topics, you should cover from multiple sources. Current affairs, you know, rather than multiple materials, try to, you know, add them. One current affairs, one newspaper, anyways, you have added. One test series, you have added. Other topics, try to cover from the different MCQs available. That would be more than <coughs> sufficient. Which are current affairs related, you should do that. Okay. Then, note making, whether it is important to make the notes. Yes. It is important to make the notes to only certain extent. What is note making? Let us say ITR in the news. Now I know that this is emerging technology. I will search in the Google what is ITR. Then I will get that talk mass is on the word that is term that has been used. Then I feel that okay, this may be asked basically and after once you analyze the questions, previous year question, you feel that some emerging technology, whatever someone else else has given notes, he has given according to his understanding. Whatever that is there in the newspaper, they have clipped it and given it. That might not be sufficient. Sometimes you are going network building. I told now electrical vehicle. What you are doing? You are taking electrical vehicle. Which of the different type of batteries being used? Which of the, you know, material used in those batteries? And countries related, you know, are the minerals available? You know, which these, you know, mineral available in which country you are searching for? Then you are also asking what are the various initiatives that government of India is doing? What are the various initiatives at the world level they are promoting the electrical vehicles? Then we have the EV 3830. What is EV 3830? Clean Energy Ministerial will, you know, do it. What is it? Hmm. Electrical vehicle, overall vehicle may, 30 percent of the vehicle should be electrical vehicle by 2030. Okay, 30 at 30 basically, correct. When here what can the question come including public transport, bus, everything basically. Also it will also aviation sector, rail sector, it is not just you know road transport. It can be aviation, it can be rail, it can be marine, everything including we should have 30 percent of the this thing contribution should be from the basically. So the question can be something like that. So whatever that you are searching that you make notes, you know do not do the same notes which is available in the newspaper or again available in your this thing, you do not need to pick the magazine and make the notes, do not do that. That you study the magazine itself because prelims is about recognition. They, they, are, they will give you the option, you have to recognize. It is like KBC, right? When you sit here, you see the option, when the question comes, what we say? Let the option be given. Then I will say the answer because 
you will not be knowing it directly you would have forgotten but when you look at the option you will recognize this was the answer right so that is what will happen in kbc many times if you look at the question first without putting the option you will still be looking at it but when they gave the you know give the options then you will be knowing many of times yes this is the answer i have heard about it childhood me i would have heard out i have forgotten so it is about recognition so when you can recognize you revise many a times that would be sufficient main c is about recollecting you have to recollect and write in the examination then note making becomes very important so that you have your handy notes revise it many a times because it has been written by you itself since you are revising and made it a very short notes you can bring the same point in the main answer sheet prelims it is extensive preparation you cannot make the notes when it is extensive right but for the important themes whatever that we have discussed try to make the notes let's say you find some interesting feature of a species keep writing it somewhere the ant is known for this ant to have a swan feature right so while ant bite it hurts right why it will hurt it will have some you know some chemical within it basically something like this so are you know ant always go in a line basically right so something like this what you are finding and reason for it just write it somewhere basically because today you are feeling it interesting tomorrow after 10 days 20 days you would have forgotten it right so because again you keep cannot keep on watching it whatever that you are feeling that you are doing from analyzing the previous year question paper you just try to add it in your notes okay that is the note making is important when you are network building doing the network building on the important themes that is being repeated every year okay what is themes again as i told you youth have to think from the subject perspective no as a polity what someone should know he should know president parliament about fundamental rights everyone should know then basic how judiciary is happening these are the four five important themes that is happening so judiciary may be you are searching what is cognizable non cognizable it is not there in your notes also it is not there in your current affairs also then you are making the notes to it basically right so in that way basically you are you know increasing your note making only on the certain themes don't make the notes on the topic that is already available in the market who are the member of sarc don't make the notes that is anyways there in your magazine or book that you study that would be more than sufficient but if you are doing something extra then you make a note of it otherwise you will forget over a period of time so note making can be done then duration how you know people will ask sir one year current affairs two year current affairs what is the duration that i should look into the current affairs now again i look it always from the examiner perspective how he looks at it basically right how he looks at it in a simple way right if you are tomorrow tomorrow told to set a paper right what will you do you will open the network and you know current affairs which month may which has then you will ask the question or whatever as a polity lecture let's say if i want to ask something on polity i will be knowing what is happening in polity so there are two things one are minute things i would have forgotten but the major judgment let's say even though it would have happened one year back i still remember it i will ask the question but let's say if some minute fight is happening it is happening for one or two day then it is you know, then i would have also forgotten about international relation but the six months drought one year drought is happening or one year inflation is happening then i will remember it was in news for very long time even after one year i will be remembering so the important idea behind reading the current affairs is if they are event based event based means something which happened this year national olympiad chess olympiad it is a event based or some government schemes they are event based for those last one year ka current affairs should suffice because they are not something which are longer but let's say cop 27 that held in dubai right so here there is a you know which happens only once in a year and some paris agreement some major agreement would have been asked so they can ask after one year also two year also so with respect to the events that has been taken place and it is holding the significance then try to cover it from one one end of year minimum okay but if it is only a short term event then one year current affairs should be suffice let's say some place has been excavated you know last year what excavated unless it is a breakthrough unless it is a breakthrough you don't need to worry about it it is just if you have found some you know neolithic site there is nothing much about it then if it is one year current affairs that would be sufficient don't need to read about two years ka whatever the neolithic or paleolithic or you know any prehistoric site has been found that is not your interest but if it is one year current affairs it is there it would be more sufficient but it is having let's say you know chausana temple has been asked yogini temple has been asked because the parliament was based on it right 
So that can be as two years back. If it would have not asked last year, this year also it would have been asked. Because recently parliament has opened, right? It was based on that temper model. So it can be asked any time. So if something breakthrough, if something very important as you say, then it can be asked. Let's say, you know, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Mutra, it has been 500 years ago. So that has been celebrated and they asked in the mains question. But that will not be asked after two years. That was 500th year that year, so they made a significant, you know, one celebration, they will ask the question. So, whatever the event based, one year would be sufficient. Issue based, that is drought, military coup is happening from long time. Israel, Palestine, last year also they can ask, this year also they can ask, Ukraine, Russia also next year they can ask. Or you know, Myanmar, Kachin state they had asked. Right, Kachin state was in news one year back. It doesn't mean that just because one year back there, now one, two years back it was in news. Right, but it was happening, small skirmishes will be keep on happening. So, if the issue based is there, then just you know, open your magazine. See what was in news, just in a wager. So whenever you see that, you know, last six months car, you will get the material of last one year magazine also, right? You just open and see what was very important. Then you can see the issue based from the last one and a half, two years. But event based will be once year will be more than sufficient. Because as an examiner, I remember events in a very short duration. I would have forgotten what happened last year. But if they are issue based, I still remember it. Sri Lanka crisis, you will still remember it, right? Bhutan ka crisis, you will still remember it. Nepal issue, what is happening, you know, let's say uh, there was some, you know, Bhutan issue, what was that happening? At that point of time, India was there and, you know, that small area where, you know, military, ha, right, Doklam issue, right. So, that is, you will be knowing, you know, last year that had happened. So, next year also they can ask about Doklam. It doesn't mean that, you know, last year it happened, so they are not asking. If you look at 2021-22 paper, they had asked many current affairs, Miyawaki forest, all these were actually not in news in that year. It was in news in previous year, right? So, whichever more important, they can ask you even after one or two years, okay? So, ha uh ha. -huh. There was a question on Home Guard. Yes. It was around 2018-19 when it was in news. Hmm. Like, it was For Home Guard, why do you need basically news? Uh, let's see the question, right? See, I did not discuss the question, but I will I'll look into that question, right? This was one biofilter question. See, this time tough, whatever that is important, say that is recirculating aquaculture system. This is something environmental friendly, you should always, that is a theme. Whatever that is environmental friendly, government want to promote, world wants to promote, right? So, we are looking at question here, biofilters increase phosphorus. What will happen if there is an increase in phosphorus and sulphur or phosphorus and nitrate, sorry? There will be eutrophication. If there is a eutrophication, so if you are using biofilter and increase the bio phosphorus or it should decrease the phosphorus. Even that, that is your applying of the things basically, right? So, anyways, that is just I will, I will come to that. I am just telling, so that you can eliminate by thinking logically basically, that is what I am telling, you do not need to always study about biofilters to do it, right. This is what I told about gold mining they had asked, you know Ukraine they had asked three questions, if you remember. This was one of the question on Ukraine, which of the country bordering Ukraine was asked. Then there was one pairs they had asked, but they had given a different state, but Ukraine place was given in news, right. Question is that you are talking about. Which question is that? If you turn, tell, see the question, this is beta, right? This is what I am talking about in the term context of finance term beta. You, search, you can search here. Let's search. I don't think it is scanned paper, no? it will touch okay. Good, good, good. Right, see, now who is home guards? Home guards are you have seen, you know, traffic may they are maintaining the things and you know, basically they are work under the state police, right? So that you have seen. Now, the question is this, home guards are raised under the home guards act, that is fine for me, under the rules of central government. Should it be raised under the state, or state government or central government? If they are working under the state, under the police, police should have more power compared to home guards because they are doing the 
axillary work at the end of the day. So if you do it a common, if the central government rule is there, then it becomes a specific and common across the India. Right? Then you know some state there will have a different problem. So you cannot have the common rule, you will have the rule according to the states. Right? So and they work as the axillary. So this cannot be correct. Right? Second role of home guard is what? Serve as an axillary force to police in the maintenance of internal security. Very lame and stretched forward statement. You don't need to, there is nothing to take it off. <coughs> Correct. Third. So, first is wrong, second is third. Third, to prevent infiltration on the international border or coastal areas. No, it is not just international border, even can be in the coastal area of the coastal states. The border wing home guards battalion have been raised in some states. Okay. Wherever there some people having that issue of you know infiltrate, they have their they could have raised in some states when that you know kind of words will be used. Not very, very specific. It has used in Tripura, it has not used in Manipur like that. They have not specifically used it. They have just told it they have been some battalion has in some states. So it can be in the coastal state or it can be in the state. So some state it has been have the home battalion where they can check the infiltration. So this seems to be correct statement, right? Because this is a very generalistic statement. So what I am saying is these kind of statement you should not worry much about it. First you see, try to understand home guard, they are acting subordinate to police, first thing. If they want to subordinate police, then don't give the power from the central government, right? Because every state will give their powers according to whatever the rules, police, because police comes under state list. So they have their own rules for them. So if you want to have someone auxiliary power, they should have the you know, their rules should be subordinate to them. So that means that it cannot be. So in the exam while reading, try to cover these things, rules of central government or state government. If they are working for state, what should be their, your approach, right? Then it should be always rule should not be, you know, uniform across the country, right? So it should be every state can have their own rules. So like that, even with the basic understanding, you can just cover this kind of question. But never worry in the examination, suddenly home guard has asked, I am not, tomorrow I am also preparing CRP of CISF, everything, you know. And that will not work that way. It doesn't mean that next year I have to prepare everything and do the things. You try to cover, if they are more important, try to cover them. BSF you cover, CIS you cover. You cover at the very basic level, that would be fine. But even when, if you are not covered also, if something comes, just read the same thing, calm. Don't worry that whether only one statement is correct, two statement is, that is not about, you know. Because these are the generic statements. You cannot make it wrong. When they can make it wrong, the nouns will be used. Rules of central government, they will convert it to state government. But these are general guidelines that they have. They work under the police to help in internal security. It's a very generic statement. You cannot say that it is wrong statement. One or other way, they will be helping the police. So that means that you know that home guards will be maintaining the traffic in many areas where there is a less traffic police. So you will be knowing that, okay, they are helping one or other way. Whenever these IPL matches are there, home guards will be there. Because all you cannot send the police force to maintain there. All they are helping to do the internal security. So if there is a generic statement, you can consider them as right without worrying much. In that way, you should attend such questions basically. Don't worry that you know you have to depend on current affairs. Okay, these kind of polity and all, don't worry about it. You can just attend using your basic understanding. Let's say prison rules is there. Prisons come under state list. You know, if they state list, that means that every state can have their own rules. That is just an extension of your logical understanding of polity how the power federal structure, how it has been there, right? So you are just extending it basically and then coming up to a conclusion saying that this cannot be correct or this cannot be wrong, okay? Keeping that in mind, now going back again, okay? Duration and always try to align with fundamentals. That means that when you are reading the current affairs, don't read them as a separate thing. If there is something right related to polity, Cover your polity there only. What is fundamental, right? Try to see the current affairs pattern and try to align with it. Okay? But treat current affairs also one of the subject. That's it. Don't think that current affairs is everything. How you see your polity you are studying? Like that only. If you are giving 10 days to your polity, then give 10 days to your current affairs. Don't give 30 days, 40 days for current affairs where you can expect 7, 8 question. But where you are getting 15, 14 question, you are giving 5, 6 days at the cost of current affairs. So current affairs always has to be, you know, one newspaper reading for international, you will be covering maximum topics there. Along with that magazines, whatever from the one year you are covering, that would be more than sufficient. Don't try to cover current affairs from too many sources. If you want to cover many topics, try to solve as many MCQs as possible. Okay? From that way you cover the topics. Okay? Rather than covering from the different, because in a different book again, 90% will be same, only 10% will be different. 
same current affairs they also do from the hindu and indian express another institute also will do from hindu and indian express everybody is doing from hindu indian express so the matter of the most important topic everyone will cover some minute topic someone will cover some other minute topic someone else will cover so you don't need to worry about much depend upon one that would be more than the pitch end. and if you look at the question paper they never ask you minute things no, whatever that is in news in the longer run that is only as kachin state only will be asked q only will be asked you know don stack will be asked Don Boss, which was in news, where it is, like that they will be asked. So, whichever that is in a news in a larger picture, that will all be asked, not the minute one. Right, some river, some blast has happened, and that was a local news happened one year back, you don't need to worry about it. Okay, if it is having a larger picture or a news in for a longer reason, then you have to study it. Then multiple source, single sources, single sources would be more than sufficient. However, as I told you, for some important topics, you can do the network building yourself. Take the topic try to cover the network building okay every time like take some technology it what are the emerging make the list out of it try to understand what is blockchain technology what is web3 what is nft right what is defi everything related to small words that you are encountering what is nft right all these things you are studying same with the basically let's say screen what is old what is lcd what is led how lcd and led are old are different right what is the advantage you have with OLED compared to? You know, so, these like this, you try to cover the things basically, right? Then, with respect to current affairs, okay, over. CSAT, I just tell you in 10 15 minutes, okay? CSAT is basically not becoming tough, okay? Only thing the problem is we are not understanding the syllabus, okay? No, in the sense, it is not about that basically. I mean, I am not saying that, you know, not becoming tough is the, you know, it is a very statement nobody accepts. So, I will not do that, okay. See, what I am saying is, this is your CSAT syllabus, right. When your CSAT syllabus, what is there in your syllabus, let us understand it one by one. One is comprehension, where you are getting every year 25 to 28 question, okay. 2022, you have got 28 question from the 15 passages, right. Last year you had got 28 questions from 26 passages, okay. So this is something you should never neglect. Passages are something which is always the easiest one as per me, okay. If someone understood how to solve the passages, his half job is done. Why passages are easier? For two reasons. One, already your content is there, right. Examiner, let us say if I want to sell the mass, I want to say what is 7 into 4, okay. Now someone who knows the multiplication can do it. If someone no, don't know how to do the multiplication, cannot do it. So, it becomes very easy for me to give the option like 28, 29, 26, 25, okay. So, if you know the multiplication, you get the answer. If you don't know the multiplication, you will not get the answer. So, it becomes very easy for me, you know, A to B, you know, which direction he is from presently, from his original direction. I can give just northwest, northeast, southeast, southwest. Very easy for me because giving the wrong option is very easy for me. But when it comes to reading comprehension, Along with the right option, he has to set the three wrong option, which should be clearly wrong also. Now, someone should not be say that what is the inference of it, what is the assumption of it. There cannot be a controversial question more than four or five. If you look at the question, many institute ka ki also, there will be three, four passages where there is always a confusion. Other than that, most of are settled. That means that examiner finds always difficult to set the wrong option in passages. He want to absolutely make it wrong. Then only people will agree. Otherwise, that you know, this you know, what you say, ambiguity will increase. You know, people will start talking about it in a negative way. So, it will actually harm the effect the image of the UPSC. So, they try to give three options in such a way that it will be definitely wrong. But you have to try to understand how the wrong options will be set. If the, I am talking about something, let us say I am talking about something, I am talking about, let us say, the malnutrition in India. In between, I use a word that you know, Indian. <laughs> You know, having, you know, lech anemia will be increasing, iron content food they are not eating, you know, they are not having enough of, you know, fats and other, you know, this thing, something I am writing, protein is becoming very less. I am writing so many things. Iron is only one content of it, basically. Iron rich content food they are not eating, which is one part of it. Now, option how he will give, what is the main idea behind the passage? Then what he will give, one he will give about overall malnutrition, one he will give that Indians are not eating much iron related food. So, that is only one specific idea among the whole idea, right. That is not the main idea basically. Main idea is overall they are not eating, 
Overall, they are not, you know, having the sufficient nutritious food. I, iron is only one among them, basically. So, the broader idea, I will make it to a simpler idea. So, like that, you will come to understand. If you look at the paper, you know, when you start looking at the previous year paper, see the, not just see the right answer. Why others are wrong? Start analyzing it, basically. Take the question paper. This is right answer, okay. Why other three are wrong? So, and second, with respect to passage, there is Hindi translation. When it becomes Hindi translation, passages will not be based on English. For example, cat passages, it will mostly be based on you checking your English understanding. Here it is reading comprehension. You have to understand overall how you can understand and understand the things basically, right? So in that way, since there is a Hindi translation, what happens in English? Make is different, right? Production is different, right? Invention is different, right? So you can have different word for different thing. I cannot say that, you know, I can say that I made dosa. I cannot say that I produced dosa, right? So basically there is a two different word if I use, it will make the different meaning altogether. But it is not the case with Hindi. Because they will not have too many words for too many things. They just use the alternative. They just translate it. One general word they will use. I mean, dosa banaya. Bas. Okay. So basically what will happen because of this, they are not checking your English knowledge. Overall understanding of the passage is being checked. Okay. So try to make sure that because and also answer lies within the passage. Once you start understanding how to read it, this becomes your one of the best advantage where you can get. Second, what is the next part? Interpersonal skills including communication skill. This is not part of your syllabus anymore. This was asking when there was English passages. That means that there was no Hindi translation. Okay. So this was when CSAT was introduced, this was there. Now they are not asking you. Okay. Compulsory English has been removed from the your question papers. Third, logical reasoning and analytical ability. So there are basically, if I look at here, okay. If I look at here, okay, comprehension one, logical reasoning two, again decision making and problem solving. Now this is being checked in your ethics paper. When it is, was introduced in 2011, there was no ethics. Two optional papers were there. Then they were used to give you the case study and ask you what will you do, basically as a DM. Now this is not being asked. This is not part of your syllabus anymore. Next is general mental ability 3, basic numeracy is 4. Now what we are doing? We are combining these two and making as one. General mental ability and basic numeracy has been combined everywhere and just being teach the general mental ability only. Basic numeracy, that is the reason. Say, let's say if I am having 80 question, so my will be having 20, 20 each. Okay, if I just do, I want to divide 80 question, I will give 20, 20. That means that basic numeracy, I will ask 20 questions about numbers, the relation, what is order of magnitude, which is largest one, which is 2000, 2 to the power of 122, 3 to the power, which among the following is largest. Every time one question will be there on that. Then data interpretation, data sufficiency. Okay. So, data sufficiency, if you can see, many questions are coming here. Now, what is happening? This is, you know, around every year, 20 to 25 are questions are coming from basic numeracy. This nobody is teaching. Everybody start with, you know, telling how to take LCM, HCF. They will not talk about, you know, what is number system, what is, you know, prime number, what is whole number, what is natural number, what is co-prime number. Then, you know, Talking about all these things itself will take 4 or 5 classes, right? And if you look at your math book, the best idea of looking at it is take your NCRT books, study the number system from them. Every year one or two chapter will be there. One year there will be only on whole number, one will be on integer, one will be on, you know, these things will be there. So try to cover from them, okay? So that what will happen, you will get a fair idea here. The question is basically if you look at the paper, most of the questions are very straightforward and pretty. If you have not practiced it, then it is becoming difficult. So, and general mental ability, they are asking around 15 questions. Now, what has been done last 2-3 years, logical reasoning and, you know, analytical ability, you used to get around 20 to 23 questions. This has been reduced, like syllogism has not been asked this year. So, this year, 2023, the, you know, weightage has changed. Only 15 questions from logical reasoning has come. 26 question from basic numeracy has been asked. Basic numeracy means not just basic numeracy, percentages, averages, 
fractions they are asking the fraction based question basically powers unit power unit digit all these comes under basic numeracy so basic numeracy 26 question were asked last time so before that there were 20 questions so every year the question on basic numeracy is being increased time and distance last time you can get one question and not, not even one question last time time and work there was one question time and distance that was not one question so this chapter time and distance time and work you know profit and loss maximum you can get one question each year from each chapter okay so but this is basically lion share in your question paper that is why when you see the question paper you completely you know what is this about all the numbers they are asking p plus q can be one number p plus k can be odd number like that they are asking the basic question right so when they are asking the basic question if you have not prepared it automatically in examination all it becomes very difficult so your job should be preparing it very well in the first place itself okay so try to cover your C set from this perspective one make your passages comprehension reading very strong that is point number one point number two become very good at basic numeracy before becoming moving to general mental ability general mental ability is at the end of the day is a formula based and where you are applying the formulas based on the basic numeracy only you will apply the formula so make your basics very strong okay for that actually 6 to 9th NCRT would be suffice only not all the chapter only number system percentages because where what will happen there they try to explain what is percentage what is fraction what is ratio and proportion this ratio and proportion question are becoming very difficult for the students who are not understanding it right so because we would have studied in 6th 7th now we are not getting it basically right and it is not being discussed in detail in classes also so the classes should discuss this it should give at least 7 to 8 classes for basic numeracy like 30 20 to 30 hours then only your basics will become strong okay so if you look at the question maximum question are from that right if you look at the question paper maximum question you are getting let's say these are the passages question see all the question if you look at here right there are three positive integer p q r s t then you know consider the following p plus q plus r s r minus s minus t is definitely even right 2 p plus q plus 2 r plus 2 s plus t is definitely odd right now by looking at this question it looks very difficult right whether it is it looking difficult or easy why in the first place it looks difficult right here if you look at p plus c to p and q, p is a prime number c is a composite number p plus c divided by p minus c can be even second 2p plus c can be odd okay third statement pc can be odd okay now this is the question right now how do you solve this let's say only i'll solve these two question just make you understand right i will not go through other question but i just tell you if you look at here which number will be solved again you know divisibility rules reminder theorems only these questions are coming reminder questions has been four questions last time okay using the reminder you can one is basically about you know 10 to the power of 10 today is thursday what will be the 10 to the power of 10 day so basically what you are doing in calendar after every seven days they will repeat so you are actually then if it is eighth day then one day extra you have to add so if there are eight day between two days what i will do i will divide eight by seven one will be the reminder so i add one day extra to the present day okay if there is let's say 15 days extra from today if i want to calculate i will divide 15 by seven so that means that one extra I am getting, 14 will be completely divided, 15 will be one extra. So I will add one day to 15, that is reminder. Today if it is, which day is today? Wednesday, Thursday, then after 15 days it will be Friday, right? Like that it is basic. So similarly 10 to the power of 10 by 7 you have to do. So that how many extra reminder then it will come, you have to add that many days to present day. That was the basic idea basically, right? So that is anyway, that, those are the rem reminder question were 3 to 4 questions last time. So these people are not preparing in the first place. So what is happening? It looking very difficult. Otherwise, once you understand this concept, it becomes easy. Now this is if I if I want to solve this, right? What they are telling? P, Q, R, S, T are even and three of them are even, two of them are odd. Okay. So consider the following. Okay. Now all you know is in addition basically how it works. In addition, how it works. If I am adding two odd numbers, that is 3 plus 5, what I will get? Always even, 3 plus 5 is 8. Five minus, if I am subtracting two even numbers, 5 minus 3, 
I will get E1. Similarly, if I add two E1 numbers, that is 4 plus 2, I will get 6, always E1. If I am subtracting two E1 numbers, that is 6 minus 4, 2, always E1. When I will get add? If there is one odd, one E1. Then I will get odd. 7, 7 minus 3 will be maybe, you know, not 7 minus, 7 minus 4, that is 1 is E1, 1 is odd. Right, 7 minus 4 will be 3, that is odd. So, when you are getting odd, when two numbers are, one is odd, one is E1. If both are odd, both are even, when you are adding or subtracting, you will get E1 only. This is the basic idea. Okay. Using that idea, we are trying to solve this question. Okay. No? It does not matter to you. It does not matter to you which is odd, which is E1. All I know is, let us say, three E1s are there. Okay. If you add three E1s or three odds, what you will get? Three E1s. First, I will add two E1s, again one more E1. What will I get? E1 or odd? E1. E1. So, addition or subtraction, whatever you do with these three integers, you know, which can be minus also, plus also, I am not worried. What I am worried is, if there are three E1 numbers, whatever the operation I do with them, I always get E1, right? Whatever there are two odd numbers, whatever the operation you do, 7 minus 3, 7 plus 3, whatever you do, what you will get? Two odds also will give you E1. Now, there is E1 and E1. What you will get? That is your answer. That is it. Right. So, what you are doing basically, you are understanding this basic principle and solving it. Any three, you are not worried about which is P is odd, Q is odd is not your concern. What is this is, if there are three E1 numbers, whatever the operation you do with that three E1 numbers, you will have the E1 only. If there are two odd numbers, whatever the operation you do with them, you will have the E1 only. If there are two E1s, after getting from three E1s and two odds, you are getting two E1s. Whatever the operation again you do, you will end up getting the E1 number. That is the basic idea about this. Similarly, let us say, you know, same here, okay, same here. So, now coming to here, basically, PC can be odd. What is PC? One is prime number, another is composite number. When you will get odd number in multiplication? One is E1, one is odd. Let us say 3 into 2. What you will get? E1. E1. So, whenever there is a E1, whatever you do, whether you multiply with odd number or E1 number, always you will get E1 number only. You know, 4 multiple table always will be E1. 6 multiple tables always will be E1. If you have a, whether it is 6 into 2 also E1, 6 into 3 is also E1, 6 into 5 is also E1. So, if there is one odd, one E1, whatever you do with that, you will get the E1 when you are multiplying it, right? Now, when I can get odd? One, one odd? Both should be odd, right? Only when both are odd, because 7 into 2 is again one E1 is there, you will get E1. Only you will get odd when there are two odd numbers are there. That is 7 into 3, I will get 21, right? 7 into 1, I will get 7. 7 into 5, I will get 35. Whenever there are two odds, they are Now, the question is saying, for example, this one I will do. PC can be odd. PC can be odd means, P should be also, when it can be odd? P should be odd number, C should be odd number. Do you have a prime odd number? You have? You have 3, you have 5, apart from 2, all are odd only, right? So, you have P as a odd number, yes, you can have. Can you have a composite odd number? Think about all the numbers. 9 is a composite odd number. So, if you can have two odd numbers, their multiplication should be what? So, it can be. It can be as long as two are odd numbers, or odd multiplication can be odd numbers. Similarly, let us say 2p plus c can be odd. What is 2p? Can be. Here it is about possibility whether you can make it or not. Right. When you can get addition as add, one should be odd, another should be even. Can I have, you know, two p is anyways even? Two p is anyways even because I am multiplying with two. Then C, whether I can have a C as a odd, yes. composite odd, yes. then P plus 2, P plus C can be odd. odd. It is as simple as that, right? So, if you understand the concepts behind it, they are very easy topics. Now, by looking at this, it looks very difficult question in the examination hall when you open it, right? Because the basic numeracy has been not taught in the market. They are directly starting with LCM, HCF, then, you know, now, you know, your time and speed, they are doing 20, you know, 2, 3 classes different problems on time, speed, distance, not worrying much about this basic of numeracy. So, once you understand this basic of numeracy, most of the question can be easily solved. Same thing here, same thing here, right? Here you know that this is E1, 
2P is C1, 2R is C1, anyways multiplying with 2, 2SC C1. All three are even. Now Q and T are there. It is definitely odd they are saying. Okay? Then you have to think about that. Whether it can be definitely odd or not. It is not can be. Can be is different. Definitely is different. Definitely means it can never become even. Can be means it can become even, can become odd. So that wording has to be little bit careful. Otherwise, these are the basic two questions that is I am just saying. So once you start getting this idea, right, how multiplication will happen, how this will happen, you will be easily solving these kind of questions, right. These were a little bit difficult question, okay. Otherwise, all you have to do is basically see, let us say if they are giving x, y, z, 6 digit number, right, whether it is divisible by 7 and 11 only, 11 and 13 only. So, what I will do, I will put numbers, x, y, z, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, because they have not told anything about x, y, z. I just put 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, then I will check whether it will go with 11, it will go with 13, it will go with 7, that is it. If it is going, then x, y, z, x, y, z, all the number has to go. Because if it is forming something, I am satisfying their condition for any choices of value they have told. I will keep x as 1, y as 2, z as 3. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 I will write. I will check with 7, I will check with 11. 11 anyways you know how to check it. Then 13 you have to check it, right. So, that is a, just a you know minute time it will take basically, right. So, most of the questions were like that only, right. So, what is the problem is? People have not solved this basically. Most of the question is basic numeracy you have not solved. So make your divisibility root very well, reminder theorem very well, your job is done. Okay. So unit powers, okay, as well as you know those things. So all the questions, if you look at, it will be like that only, right? It will not be that difficult. Right. These are all the question. It was previously also asked this kind of question. P plus Q plus are distinct in numbers. When what is the greatest value plus P plus Q plus? Q plus S. When you will have multiplication of sum of, let us say, if I am having two numbers, 10, let us say I am having 8, I am having 10. If I divide 10 into two numbers, when I will have the largest number, largest multiplication, if I have, let us say, 1 and 9, okay, what is the multiplication? 9, right? Let us say I have 3 and 7, what is the multiplication? 21, right. Similarly, I have 4 and 6. What is the multiplication? 24. Let us say I have 2 divided into 2 fives. What is the answer? 5. Then again it will remain. If I do 6, 4, it is nothing but 4, 6 only. If I do 7, 3, it is nothing but 3, 7 only. If I do 8, 2, it is nothing but 2, 8 only. So, where I am getting maximum number? When two numbers are equal. If you have divided them equally, then you are getting the maximum number, right. Now, they are asking P plus Q plus R plus S. You have to do it in such a way that you should get the equal numbers, okay. First is, if you want to get the number, you should have 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are the single digit, when I can get the maximum. How I will do? I will add 9 plus 6, 15, 7 plus 8, 15. So totally, I am getting 225. Any other combination you do, it will be less than 225, okay. So it is as simple as that basically. This was usually asked previously in a way that if someone wants to give the ticket, he has n number of buses, he has to give n tickets, how, what is the maximum, you know, price he can keep. That was the question that was asked two, three years back, if you look at the vision. Let us say if someone is having 50, this thing is there, okay, 50, you know, whatever number of passengers he is coming, if he keeps the same price, then he is getting the maximum. So, what is the maximum number of price he can keep? Then it is 25, 25. If you can divide 50 into 25, 25, 2 equal part, you will have the highest number. All any other number that is 49 into 1 is 49. But is 25 into 25 is 625. That is the largest number you can get. So, in a similar technique, it works basically. So, whatever I am saying is, right, again see here, reminder question, right, reminder question. It has just told that you have to write 99 again, right. Right. There are some questions which were actually easy, some question again difficult, okay. Okay. Anyway, so these are all, you know, if you get it, you get it, right. For example, 7 plus 9 is 16, 16 plus 10 is 26. If I add those two digits, 26 means 2 plus 6, I will get 8. Similarly, 9 plus 7 is 20, 20 plus 30 is 50. If I add two digits, 55 plus 0, 5. 
Similarly, 7 plus 7, 7, 11 plus 17 is 28, 28 plus 21 is 49, 49 is 4 plus 9 is 13. Similarly, 23 plus 4 is 27, plus 15 is 42, 4 plus 2 is 6. Right. So basically that is your answer. So what I am saying is if you get it, you get it. Otherwise in exam within that 30 second if you are not able to do it, you have to skip that question and go basically. Each difficult question, easy question, both carry 2.5 marks. That is the basic idea. Right. So if you are difficult question, leave it. If your you know, ego is not allowing it to leave it, come and solve at home and see the answer key later. Okay. So but don't try to you know, keep your ego in front of the examination and waste your time. So that is basic idea. So I will not go to the questions here, but what I am saying is if you look at all the question, you know, positive integer 7x plus 96 divisible by x, how many values x is possible? This is the question. So what I am saying is all these are only divisibility rule and this kind of question. Now people are not preparing it, preparing only about, you know, ratio proportion, time and work, time, time speed, distance. You are focusing more on general mental ability rather than on basic numeracy. Basic numeracy is a separate heading in your syllabus okay that you are supposed to concentrate upon there you can get the result best results out of it basically so again if you look at the question it was same kind of questions right so i mean some questions if you get it you get it as i told you otherwise you will not get it basically right so but if you are very good at numbers by looking at this number i can tell which group is not correct Right, they are giving these many numbers. What these numbers are? Prime numbers, right. Only one where I will not have prime, that will be my answer. They are 91 is there, 13, 7, 8 is 91. So that is not your prime number, otherwise all are prime numbers. So you will be getting it. So anyways, that I will not go into the detail basic numeracy, how to solve them. But what I am suggesting you is start working on your basic numeracy. NCRT would be more than sufficient to build your basics. Then you have to little bit work upon it basically kind of difficult question. Then your reading comprehension is the major share. 28 question if you can get 21, 22, you know net, not right question, 21, 22 you should get right. 3, 4 you can make wrongs, okay. Otherwise you can get it, all of them right for me, 1 or 2 except 1 or 2 because UPSC answer key you never know for 1 or 2 question. Otherwise you can get maximum out of it, okay. So last time also many of our students also has got maximum out of it basically. So the reason simple being once you understand the logic behind it, it becomes very easy. How to read the passages, there is a way to read the passages. What student do, first they will start reading the passage, then go to the question. And that should not be your approach at the end of the day. It should be first question then you know passages. Okay. The simple reason being, let us say if I am reading new article, what I will do, I will start underlining each and everything. If you are reading newspaper, what will you do? Any new things will come, you will start underlining. But once if I look at the question, that is not being asked in the question itself. Right? So, what you are supposed to do, if you read the question first and then go, then you know what is they are expecting from the passage. So, your reading style also will change according to that basically. That, you know, anyways, I will have a different class altogether and maybe in, you know, Delhi I will have or in Bangalore I will have, I will, I will tell you to share that, you know, the reading compression and CSA strategy session basically where you can understand it better. Okay, I will not go deep into it, but this is the idea. Okay, and some logical reasoning are very easy questions. For example, bread duration, directions. You just need to know, do this, and get the answer, right? So only few things will be there. Say, for example, in direction, all you should know is there are some global directions. Then will be relative direction, right? Relative means left, right, down, up is relative. Whether left in, you know, for you the left is different, for me left is different because we are facing each other. But for both of us, east is same. Right, west is same because they are global direction, right? There is nothing to do with where I am standing. It is about the, you know, when you keep your compass, east, it will always for everyone irrespective of however he stands, east will show in the same direction. So, if he turns east, then you should turn him this one, this way only, irrespective of whichever way he is facing. So let us say if I someone has went west for 10 meter, then he is shifting east, then again he should come back like this. Okay, that means that east and west are global direction that they are picked. These are some basic rules that you should know. Other than that, you know, there is nothing to worry about those topics. Cover them and, you know, make your strength. So that logical reasoning, 7-8 question easily you can do. Passages you can do. Then once you become strong at basic numeracy, your job will be done. Okay. Try to make your HCF, LCM very strong. And these are the 4-5 questions you will get from HCF itself. Averages every year, one question will be there. Percentages, two question will be there. Ratio proportion 2, 1 to 2 question will be there. So these are the basic fundamentals before moving to any chapter. Then try to cover them and you know make your those strong and then things will be taken care of. Okay. That is about 
this. Then with respect to your test, solve as much as possible, it is fine, but do not over rely on them. Test series is basically to know about yourself. Okay, it is most of the students are working on test series to get the knowledge out of it. That is the main problem. What we are doing is we are doing the test series and only taking the content out of it. Test series is why you go to it is like a net practice. Someone go to a net practice, he will he come to know that he is not able to attend the bouncer ball. Then he will adjust his position for the next. Right. Similar to that, once you are you know making some mistakes, let's say in polity, then you are under, should understand that my application of polity basic concept is missing somewhere. Then you should start working on it. But you are not analyzing in that way. You are only seeing from your knowledge perspective whether I have read it or not read it. Don't do that. Try to cover them as much as possible. But you know, don't try to heap up the synopsis because every test will have around 50, 60 page synopsis. If you are want to solve 50 test, then 50 into 60 is 3,000 pages of synopsis, right? So even you cannot revise it six, seven times. You can at the max go through them once and also keep adding to your basic material. Let us say if I have made some mistakes in uh, you know uh, precedent, then I go to Lakshmikanth and add it there only. This is the mistake I did rather than again underlining in your synopsis. My synopsis should at the end of the day contact only those things which are not there everywhere. Not there in my current affairs also, not there in my static also. It is only available in that set series. That question I am underlining so that it will become only 5-6 pages of text. All remaining, I will go to the original book and just start highlighting it there, what I have done the mistake, rather than highlighting here. So like that, make your burden less so that you can revise many times. Now with the changing pattern, it is minimum 6 revision that will, you know, easily sail you through, okay? Because topics are not changing, as we have discussed, we have seen all the topics, right? I mean, most of the topic, topics are more or less remain the same. You see the previous year paper also, it more or less remains the same, okay? That way you can conduct. Okay, all right. So about a small thing, a small announcement, I just uh, wind it up basically. It's been two, almost three and a half hours basically, right? So I'll just, you know, if you have any doubt, you can ask first. Then I'll wind up regarding anything regarding preparation. Anything else? Everything you are comfortable with? Okay, anything is there? You can message us on, you know, our telegram IDs also whenever we can, you know, as much as possible, we will try to reply in our free time. That is my telegram ID is ADITHYA underscore insights. Okay. Aditya underscore insights. You can just, you know, message if you have any issue, facing any issue. Then with respect to a small announcement is there regarding the Conquer Films program also basically. Okay. So, because some of the students has come and told that, you know, since they were holiday, Navratri and all, they could not this thing. So, they needed early bird offer that we are continuing till 30th basically. Okay, uh, 31st or end of this month. There were basically in the program, we are trying to cover, I mean, you don't need to join the program, but I'm just saying it basically, okay. So how it works is, uh, you also can follow your own principle, okay. If you are, as I have already discussed what you are supposed to do, there we will analyze the question paper, we will tell you the themes, everything that will be discussed. But the main idea is, the syllabus has to be completed by January, end of January. We are also going to cover it by January. That is the reason we are not handling it in Delhi. Because two ways if I conduct, then what will happen? It will, you know, get over in the month of February or March. Then you will have very less time to revise the thing. So, a main idea is to cover it by end of the January. Once January it is over, then in the month of February and March, it is only about test series and self-improvement as well as one-to-one -one mentorship with us basically by un understanding your way of solving the question and our way of solving the question. So that, you know, we can exchange the things, okay? And April, May, it will be completely free. So, basic idea is, about, apart from the course also, basic idea is try to finish your syllabus by January end once. Then at least February, March, you make the intense preparation, revise it three to four times. Okay. Once you do three to four revisions, then in the month of April, May, you will be pretty much comfortable. Whatever the extra things you want to search, you can search. But usually students, what they do is they start at January itself. They end their first reading, let's say in the end of March. Then in the remaining two months, they cannot revise everything many a times. Okay. So, the revision holds the key. If the paper is becoming difficult, it is not the topics are becoming difficult, right? The option has been elimination has been removed. That means that they are expecting you to know all the three statements to solve the question. And but the statements are from the book itself. They are not asking from somewhere in most of the question at least. So, at least try to cover, you know, if you are, there are 10 points regarding speaker in Lakshmi you should know all 10. 
before even knowing 7, 8, it would be helpful because 1 or 2 elimination you should do. Now, how you can know all the 10 points? Reading it many a times. So, the multiple revision holds the key. If someone is clearing consistently, it is just because that there is the multiple revision. Maybe they would have done in their first attempt or second attempt. Now, they are clearing it because now there is one more extra revision they are doing. But it is the basic multiple revision rather than collecting too many facts. Do not read one source, you know, keep one standard source, one NCRT. That would be more than sufficient. Okay, just do not run behind the sources, rather run behind the iterations. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Whatever that extra you are getting from test series and other things, you add it to the same content. So that increase your content, again repeat that content next time. Whatever the new information while solving the test you are getting, MCQ you are getting, add it to the original source you are having, again while revising, revise that. So that in that way basically, if you are doing 7 to 8 revision, you will be pretty much comfortable, you will not missing the basic questions. Okay? This is the basic idea that you should work upon, start working upon your basics as well as understanding the conceptual clarity. Assertion, reason and question are increasing in geography as well as international relations plus polity and economy which are checking your conceptual clarity. So, be good at it basically. Have the basic understanding as I told you, at least you should know what is the difference between Marsh and Swamp. You know, this much you cannot say that I do not know this basically, right. So, if you are signing up Bagelkand, Bundelkand rather than telling me where it is in the map, you should know what is that physical feature is made of. What is that Bundelkand is about basically. Why that has been divided separately from Bagelkand. What is that they are different of apart from the region? So that you can connect them to the crops also, you can connect them to the economic or you know, the minerals also, you can connect them to the type of the soil available there also, how the rivers will be, you can easily connect them. So it becomes very easy when you are doing it basically. Okay, when there is why there is always drought in Bundelkhand. Once you understand the physiography of it, then only you will understand it. Because there is no seepage of water that is happening. So, you know, we will start understanding the things. So try to cover in that way, then things will be very easy, but make the multiple revision, okay. And whoever wants to prepare for main, you can do it till November, okay. So, November till November, you can still prepare for your mains along with your PTR, you know, start preparing CSAT or other things. But from December, with the changing pattern, please shift your preparation to prelims. You can keep one or two hours for mains if you want to, okay. Now, whenever one or two hours you can keep, but remaining completely give it to the prelims as the content it requires multiple revision, all right. Okay. So then, see you. Okay. Okay. Apart from Lakshmi Kant, what should be known? Lakshmi Kant, apart from Lakshmi Kant, newspaper, then you know basic books, then understanding and building the network. Network building by taking the topic, covering issues surrounding it basically. Judiciary, try to cover what is cognizable, non-cognizable, what is compoundable, non-compoundable. Try to cover and build the network based on the important themes that has been asked previously. Okay, that would be more than sufficient. All right. Okay. All the best. If anything is there, you can message us. So, thank you. Ha 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 ha. Mike. Okay, sorry.